Sound like ass. Um, <coughs> uh, apologies if there's coughing. fucking die. Apologies if there's coughing or anything during the session. Uh, I have COVID. It's why I wasn't here on Sunday. Uh, so huge thanks to people who streamed for me on Sunday. Because, oh man, what a relief that was. Um, however, some announcements before we begin. Uh, we have a link tree. You can find all of our links there. That's Twitch, YouTube, Patreon. Uh, and our uh, Tiltify page where we raise money for Color of Change. It's a really, really great charity, so check it out and support it if you can. Um, our anniversary stream is July 13th. That's a Wednesday. That'll be taking this time slot, and it's going to be another... Uh, it's going to be Christmas in July, basically. So it's going to be another Secret Santa uh, build characters for each other one-shot. And it's going to be a sequel to the uh, <laughs> Gnome for the Holidays one shot we did with a new band of adventurers getting hired to go see what happened at the factory in Hollyshire. It's dumb, but it'll be funny. Um, yeah, 
or it'll just be a different. Nah, it'll be that. I don't fucking care. Um, anyone else got anything? Kate? Wait, wait. <clears throat> so the what? the theme is like. So the last one was the prequel to the thing, whereas this one is going to be <laughs> the thing returns or whatever it was. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, and the like... thing, the thing itself. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, because we became the thing if we died. Yeah. So that's what's going to be a band of a new adventuring party getting hired together. To... Yeah, anyways, yeah. Uh, Kate, any announcements on your end? Um, my shops are officially back from vacation mode. Um, and in May, I will have some new items dropping. Here's a little sneak peek. You can Ooh. get your own D&D uh, roles, like your classes, as bumper stickers. Uh, this is the DM one. You can just uh, stick it right on the back of your car or uh, your luggage or a large water bottle or literally whatever. It's removable vinyl, so it's not permanent. You can take it off and move it around. Um, but check it out in May. Uh, Kate? Yeah? I, I love, love you. <clears throat> it looks like it says Dom. Dom. Yeah. It does. I know. I'm okay. still working on designs. It's great. Is my... I love it. Kate, it's I so want good. it still. I'm going to put her so in my great. fucking car. <clears throat> it's great. Hey, the barbarian one currently just says bar. All right, so. I mean, the Dom one, I'm here for it right next to my shitbox edition sticker on my jeans. I mean, it makes sense. I will send you the other draft, oh. Brittany. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> but anyway, keep an eye out for those oh. on my Etsy oh. shop, Bad Dice Co. And for uh, wonderful homemade crochet crafts, check out Kate Craft Studio US on Etsy. Link is in the chat. Yeah, it is. Dumb. Oh God! <laughs> All right. Also, I just wanted to add one more thing, which was I believe that Sunday was actually a historic stream on the channel because I think that was that the first time that a stream has ever gone without Justin running it. Yeah, yeah, that was the first ever non-Justin run stream on this channel. <laughs> yep. Which also means that how many years have we been running, and you've done every single stream we've ever done four years yeah yeah so hot damn <laughs> damn um. it means you can take a day off justin yeah it does we'll apparently. keep it going um trust us <clears throat> all right last we left off you all concluded your time in the city of katatooine and <clears throat> found a floating bottle inside which contained a gnome named Flitz Tumblepots. Flitz joined the group, uh, and the party found eventually found oh the crown prince of Anandil, Estes Geraldon, who was hidden down here, lost down here, you know, just doing his own thing, being a guy, doing stuff. Uh, and he joined the party to help them kind of deal with shit and uh, look for a cure for his family's disease that had just claimed the life, the life of his mother. Um, Ven opened up a doorway that required spells. Passed through a room that contained doorways to each of the planes of existence, including a place known as the Outlands or Sigil. Which is a really cool place. If you want to look up cool D&D lore, look up Sigil sometime. Um, <clears throat> and the Lady of Pain. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, passed through that and fought a bunch of wizards from the council. And the wizards in the council were killed relatively quickly. I think it was like... It, it was like a minute or two um, to kill every single one in each room. Just running through. And eventually came into a final chamber where the party found the headmaster of the academy, Calix Lorne, absorbing the power of the weave through a device known as the iris. And also discovered the unconscious, or the conscious forms of Ogden, Boone, and Joseph inside of the chest cavity of a entity known as the iris guardian. And uh, we're having a bad time in there. And eventually um, they got out because, you know, stuff was cool. And... <laughs> My brain is fucked. Uh, teleported away. 
uh, to deal with their own people that were trapped in the city. Uh, while the party followed the headmaster underneath the iris, and while following the headmaster, uh, saw that uh, his body was like crumbling to pieces and not doing so well, and um, outstepped Rowan Buxton, the necromancer the party had encountered in the Pale Shard Fortress, who was closely aligned with this whole moon bullshit, and uh, he opened an archway and stepped through. The party followed. And ended up on the moon. <laughs> sort of a moon. The old world uh, that was created before the current world was. But the serves sailors on the moon. But serves as a moon, so you know, whatever. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna pick up with the party arriving on the moon. Uh, and oh yeah, I should describe what you all saw when you arrived. I think I did, but uh yeah, it's like a shadowy kind of moon. There was like pieces of this city that was built on the surface floating in the air. Uh, there were shadowy figures roaming the city, uh, and um, they all kind of turned their heads at your arrival. And in a group kind of conversation, said, "The reunion is at hand. Join us." And that's where we'll pick up actually is with all these figures just saying, "Join us." Flitz is freaking out. I don't know what Flitz would do, but Flitz is freaking out because they're on the fucking moon out of nowhere. Flitz, calm down. Oh. How can we tell we're on the moon? Can we see the... Yeah, you can see... Yeah, the, he's the last see, time. Yeah, you can see the planet. You can see all the stars in the sky. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, there's gravity for you guys, but there's still parts of the city floating around in the sky, which is weird. And there's oxygen. Okay. Are there other are there other gases in the atmosphere, or is it just solid oxygen? It's breathable atmosphere. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Airball. Yeah, that don't, fun. don't don't have anything spark at all. But no, yeah. there's there, it's exactly like down. There. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's armor clashes in just the wrong way. Point point five percent more argon. <clears throat> but uh, there's like but this thing is shaking. Mm. Like there's tremors like every few seconds, just like. I mean, which which direction should we go? Uh, I'll redescribe. I'll redescribe what you guys see. Okay. Actually, I, it, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Bro, this is gonna be rough. No. Um, the figure you you see walking around this ruined, floating t city on the surface of the moon seem to be giving you a wide berth, not really coming close. Mm -hmm. Uh, and occasionally one of them stares at you for a few moments, just blank face before continuing onwards. Um, they have discernible features. They're just entirely made of shadow. Um, some of these figures appear to be in some sort of, like, loop. Um, and you can recognize the people that you've seen in the bubbles. They're, some of those are here. And then they're just, like, random humanoids, all made of shadow. Um, and, yeah, and they're in, like, some sort of loop. Someone will, like, walk and then glitch, kind of like a video, and then restart their walk a few blocks back and just keep doing it. Um, there's also, sitting on a street corner nearby, a human wo a human woman in a wedding dress with the veil over her face is just <laughs> sobbing in a corner um, before her image shifts. And you see her dancing happily with a man in a nice suit before it shifts again. And she's crying on the corner once more. Uh, and you can make out the semblance of some sort of street uh, twisting ahead among the floating debris and shattered buildings. And it's just the one street? Uh, for right now, yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, what, what's the ground? Is it like, like soft dirt? or it's is like, it like... A, it's like hard rock. It's all very similar to the spheres you saw in uh, <clears throat> the prison and stuff. Same kind of rock material. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh, everybody remember this is where we parked uh, under the hard rock guitar. But yeah, there's just this. There's this. There's the only like the closest of these figures is the human woman who's just crying, and then she shifts into dancing with a man, and then she just goes back to being alone and crying. Is there? So we're we're chasing someone right now. Yeah, Rowan stepped through and yeah. 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 So. Can okay. See him? Yeah, let, us, let us like, beat feet. Okay, you keep running. All right, cool. Uh, you see it. You see, you can hear like a, the sound of like laughter, and you see a little kid come running out of a corner and start skipping along, all shadow. 
and he just uh, who's in the lead? <clears throat> Druck. Yeah. Just skips yeah. right through uh, Druck and keeps going. Oh. I do like a, I do like a hop on one leg like <laughs> <laughs> and essentially a 360 when that happens and keep on going. Okay. <clears throat> um, the street Did stretches. You... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to ask you. It... Did you feel if that was cold? It was frigid. It was... Frigid. Ugh. My balls are icicles. <laughs> yes, I, I was in the pool. <laughs> you know how the you know how toddlers have pretty much tr crotch magnetism oh, when they run. I thought you were gonna yeah. say you know what happens when you get cold, right? Boom. <laughs> You like any time, like, like any time a toddler is like coming to get a hug, they just always fucking bam. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, the street stretches ahead through massive chunks of debris and floating buildings that are destroyed. Dark, writhing tendrils of shadows seem to be rooting these floating pieces in place. Everyone but Coin and Flitz seem to catch a blur of movement that resembles a quick mass of writhing shadows between the rooftops of some of these floating buildings before it disappears. Some buildings are on the ground, but those are completely ruined. Uh, one of the figures that's walking along the street begins cackling loudly. Black spittle sprang from their mouth as their shadowy form collapses as this massive form of a skeleton with long arms and huge claws races from behind an alleyway. Uh, it's a familiar figure. It's the remains of the Skella Gang you all saw with Rowan in the Frost Giant Fortress. Ah. The shadows seem to coalesce around it once more, and it appears on a floating section of rooftop. And I need you all to roll initiative. Ah! Cool. Battle map uh, roll 20 is needed. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, Fuck yeah. We have the roll 20 needed. <clears throat> Druck was in oh, the lead. Shoot. Who was behind <clears throat> Druck? Oh, I love all the foot markers for how high the buildings are. How hard? Coin's gonna catch up as much okay. as he can. So coin will be probably. Dark. At least I used yeah, this roll early. Uh, my last level up saw me get uh, forty foot move speed now. All right. Also, a oh, uh, question, Justin. What yeah. is the lighting situation here? Uh, it like... is considered dim light, even though there's like stars in the sky and the sun. Uh, it's okay. it's considered dim light everywhere. All right. Yeah. Uh, all of these buildings that you see on the map, if you're looking at it, don't have any way to get up on top of them. Those are all how high they're floating. These segmented pieces are floating. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Who's going to be behind Estes? I'm probably behind Estes. Who's behind Kenna? It's going to be either Flitz, Ven, or Dax. Ven. Ven. All right, that'll be the squishy sorcerer next. Could I have been like the standard thirty feet in front of the group, like I usually am? Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know why you would. Five, ten, I mean, I guess 15, if you're moving 20, ten extra feet each, yeah, every yeah. six seconds, yeah, okay. All right. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, so yeah, you're all like running, and you see uh, it'd be out of the alleyway here then that it's the, and then. Teleports on top of this rooftop. Uh, and uh, yeah, five foot squares as per use. Dax, what'd you get for initiative? 21. Okay. Um, Druck. 15. Uh, Kenna. Natural one for a two. Nice. Coin. Uh, uh, I got a 15. And Ven. 30-20. Nice. All right. Um, Drug, what's your uh, uh, did a little initiative? Like, what's the 15? number? Like, the modifier. Five. And coin, what's yours? Five as well. Is this a roll-off? Right. Uh, you, you can do roll-off or pick who goes first. Rollies. <clears throat> roll-off. Garrett. All right, roll-off. Just roll two d20s. No modifiers, just straight rolls. Nine. Straight roll... Five. Drug goes first. All right, cool. All <laughs> right. So. Cool. Dax, you are up first. You see this, like, hulking skeleton figure 40 feet up on a floating section of building, just like, just like, you know, crouched. 
cool, cool, cool. This is great. This is 40 feet up. And again, like I said, all these uh, things that are labeled with numbers, those are all floating in the air with no way to reach them for anyone who doesn't have flying abilities. I can. Oh, that's all the. Just a heads up. 20 plus a 15. But it's just like, don't worry, I can have people fly if they can't. Ah, oh, it's 40 feet up. I have literally just can't boop it. Cool, 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 cool. And just, um, and just a reminder for everybody, uh, all the bonuses from uh, the city left when you entered the archway, uh, and that spell fuckery that was going on is not present here. Just a heads up to uh, Dax. Um, this it, it kind of established this thing teleports, so like even one if you get up to it <clears throat> yeah no 100 percent. okay i only have two more races these things, are, these things are fun i've only ever ran one on the channel before you know what i'm gonna and then ven's oh uh, no ven's not on deck ven th this thing's on deck and then ven <clears throat> okay then i am going to Bonus action rage. Okay. So then I'll only have one more left for the day. Yep. Just because if Oof. that thing's. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm like. <sighs> that's why I kept asking last time um, is it still up or not? Mm. And then <coughs> I am going to move 40 feet. So we'll go five. Ah, come on. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm going to go over there. Mm -hmm. and I can't really reach that thing because it's a little wee bit high so um can I hold an action to yeah. hit it with the long I would yeah. like to hold yeah. an action to hit it with my long sword if it co becomes within boop and distance sure. uh, you do see it's eyeing up which ones of you it seems to know as threats mm. it seems to know which ones are threats is it me? Am I the drama? It's looking at Druk, Dax, Coin, and Ven. Oh, I'm it's... sorry, Kano. It has a copy of our kill <clears throat> sheet. It's <laughs> it's, it's, it's a part of Dawn. <laughs> Dawn was with y'all for a bit. All right. That, yeah. <clears throat> Anything else? It has, it has <clears throat> pulled out our stats baseball rookie card. All right. That's going to bring us to the Skella gang. That is the first season I had a mustache. Uh, they, Do you know why they took that picture. They uh, coalesce into shadows, and they're gonna appear right before Druk. Just nice. And they're gonna make two piercing claw attacks. Okay. Uh, the first one is a twenty-four. That hits. Alrighty, this is fucking sweet. Uh, that's uh, 11 piercing damage. Okay. And you're grappled as it just pulls you in close. Okay. And it can't attack you, so it's just going to pull you along. Oh, wait. It can attack me? It can't attack you again with its... With oh, okay. Well, then I will life. use my reaction to use Uncanny Dodge. Okay. To split that in half. Okay, so five. Yeah. And then it's going to go... It teleported and use any of its movements. So Dax, it gets close to you. You can make an attack of opportunity on it. <clears throat> uh, or a reaction attack. Fuck yeah, bitch. Uh... 13 doesn't hit. That doesn't hit. And then it's going to come out with its other claw towards you. For a 17 to hit. That hits. Oh hell yeah! I miss my armor, even if it was fucking uh, cursed. Twenty-two piercing damage reduced to eleven. <clears throat> cool. And it also you're also grappled, and it pulls you in close with its second arm. I like a hug. <laughs> you say that now. All right, Ven. Hmm. Huh? You see this thing. <laughs> Stab, slashes into Druk, pulls Druk in, runs to Dax, hits Dax, and pulls Dax in, holding both of them. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh, what's, what's the range I saw it teleport? 
Uh, about 60 feet. Yeah. That does inform some decisions. You don't know if that's its minimum? or Right, I don't know if that's the max, but I know it can do 60 feet. So, like, it can yeah. definitely outrun, like, spiritual weapon. <clears throat> okay. Oh, boy. All right. Pressure's on. Okay. Can I um, ask a, Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Go it's ahead. help kill some time, just because I wanted to ask a question. Yeah. Uh, DM, does um, teleportation movement, is that affected by... Um, specific abilities that like someone with like slashing has or does that not affect that only affects you know physical this, movement that only affects not... physical movement okay thank you for that yeah. clarification yeah. i wanted to uh clear that up and, mm -hmm. and like a spell that affects movement does that also affect just only, only physical, physical only movement? physical movement yeah perfect thank you so anything much. that reduces somebody's movement speed is just physical movement awesome i hope i killed enough time all right ven it's your turn and then drux on deck Yep. Uh, I'm going to, given the uh, given the teleportation and everything, I'm going to cast uh, Blur on myself. Okay. <laughs> as my cool. as my because uh, it can move around very quickly. So I'm going to cast Blur on myself as an action, and I don't have any bonus action spells, so that is just going to be me for now. All right. Give the wizard some longevity. Druck. <clears throat> well. You're grappled. Just grappled. Not restrained. Nope, just grappled. Okay. So you're just your speed. So is, I your could speed make is just zero. On this guy. Yeah, your speed is just zero. Okay. Um. Well, if my speed is already zero, yeah, I can just steady aim. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so I'll uh I'll get the frostbrand short sword out. And okay. Steady aim. Sounds good. Uh, attack with advantage all right you can see like as you're like pulled in close you can see bits of like recognizable bits of dawn's skeleton merged in here if that's of any interest do we see the purple hat no i think it's, yeah it's part of like this the clothing this thing's wearing like the scarf i mean actually right. that's a scarf of shadow there is no clothes on this thing the hat was burned mm. It's a 24 to hit. 24 hits. Okay. Uh, it does appear resistant to cold damage. <clears throat> For the piercing damage, that is uh, 34 piercing damage. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice. And uh, one cold damage. <laughs> okay. I don't reduce. I don't reduce ones to zeros because that's okay. not fun for anybody. Um. All right, so that's your turn. That's my turn. All right, coin. Uh, okay. All right, I'm gonna do something that is probably pretty buck wild, but yeah, let's uh, let's 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 live in a world of magic and wonder. Sure. Uh. <clears throat> Coin is going to concentrate and cast uh, haste on himself. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'm going to run up on this fool. Yep. And uh, I'm going to uh, make my attacks, which I now believe I'm going to make three attacks instead of two, correct? Yep. yep. Right on. Uh, and those are at advantage because of uh, pack, tactics. pack tactics. Yep. Dang. Hell yeah. Don might not stick around too long. Alright, so first one. Okay, that's a 23. That hits. Alright. To be uh, 15, and I'm going to cast a level 1 smite. Yeah. Is this a, got any negative or any undead vibes yeah it's a big skeleton <laughs> so that means instead of rolling two i'm gonna roll three yep <clears throat> so that first hit is 30 damage nice i'm gonna roll <laughs> ripped on <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. 
Ugh, get out of here, other things. There we go. As you hit it, it just goes, Oh, I'm Don Donello. <laughs> uh, 21, I assume, hits. That hits. All right. It just seems to be like saying like weird, garbled phrases that Don would say occasionally, mixed up with like uh, other things that don't make any sense. 16, and I'm getting... Oh, yes! It smells like it's time to die! <laughs> I'm going to use another uh, uh, smite. Go for it. So that's 16 plus another 15, so 31. So we're up to 61 right now. Nice. Uh, for this attack, and then uh, I'm going to roll one more time on another attack. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> With the uh, Muldrak Jägerin. Jägerin. Yeah. Muldrak Jägerin. Uh, that's a 31 to hit. Oh. That was a 19 rolled. Jäger bomb this bitch. 31 uh, just hits. hits. <laughs> uh, Sounds okay. right. So that's uh, another 15 damage. Nice. And I'll call it there. So that's. Uh, Looking hurt. 70, 76 damage. That's a lot, yeah. In one turn. All right. That's going to bring us to Estes, and then Flitz on deck. He's on my smites. <laughs> Estes is going to run up as well. 5, 10, 15, 20. Brandishing his platinum warhammer. I should pull up his character sheet. That helps usually. And he is going to, because he is a purple dragon knight. <laughs> um, can he do anything for his thing right now? Not really. Okay, he's just going to swing his Warhammer twice. 23 and 15, only one hits. That's okay. For 14 magical bludgeoning damage. Nice. Alright, it's going to bring us to Flitz Tumble Pots. Uh, he's going to go Ven. Ven, do you want to fly around? Um, I think it would benefit other people maybe better. Okay. He's going to cast... No, Kenny looks like Kenna. You can turn into birds. Yeah, I can. He's going to cast Armor of Agathis on himself. Okay. Uh, 15 temporary hit points. Don't know if that was a warlock slot. It was a warlock slot. Okay. Because there's a multi-class warlock sorcerer. All right. Armor bag of this is an action. Bonus action. That's it. He's, he's on the moon. Doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Um, Kenna. What? I get a turn? Yeah, you do with that two initiative. <laughs> um, alright. Bottom of the initiative. I'm gonna throw... I wanna see how this guy does against fire damage, so I'm gonna throw a ball of fire at him with produce flame. What's the range of um, flame? I think it's 30 feet, so I'm going to... Or, uh, oh, wait. You have enough, if it's 30 feet, you have enough range right there. Okay. Cool. It's technically self, but I can throw it 30 feet. Yeah, no. So I'm going to do that. That's a plus 10 to hit. All right. Watch this just be oxygenless environment, so it doesn't even work. <laughs> but I still no! lose air. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, not the moon! Um, That's a 21 to hit. That hits. Just Sweet. <laughs> Um, Does not two... appear resistant or immune to fire damage. Just cold, Sweet. it seems like, so far. For so resistance. Five, yeah. two D8s. Oh, bastards. Um, that's four fire damage. Oh, no. Anything else? Um, you use my bonus action, but I kind of want to save my spell slots. Um, is anyone looking idea. injured? Uh, yeah. Based on my notes, I mean, everyone's looking a kind of okay. Drux at like yeah. seventy one to eighty nine. Yeah. I'm, I'm Dax is ninety six of one hundred seven. <clears throat> okay. So everyone's comfortable right now. Coins eighty seven and ninety nine. Yeah. Um, Everybody else is no damage taken whatsoever. Cool. Um, yeah. Then I'm just gonna, I guess I'm gonna get uh, around this corner. Get partial cover if i can yeah th yeah so yeah all these like buildings you the, the ruins you see on the ground those are the only things on yeah. the ground that'll give you cover so yeah totally yeah so yeah just tucking under the foundation all righty dax you are grappled in this thing's arms being pulled close as it just says these weird things <laughs> yeah 
And then another voice Dax comes, and then another voice and then another voice comes and says, "I'm going to cut out your spleen and wear it like a hat." Oh, that's a little. And that's, then I'm going to use fun. your and then I'm going to use your kidneys as socks. Like an odd use for them. Yes. And intestines as pants. Those are some long legs. And then another voice just yells out, Pancreas! <laughs> As if, like, reminding the other voices to threaten the pancreas, but not <laughs> doing it itself. Duodenum! <laughs> testicles! I don't have testicles! And with that, Jack takes a long <laughs> sword and just fucking tries to pierce where they think their fucking okay. testicles would be. Just a reminder, magic weapon is no longer on this longsword, I believe. Oh no! I, so I it is know. just a mundane longsword. Does a 19 hit? 19 hits, but it appears resistant to non-magical damage. Well, but you know what? This is fine. That's gonna be seven. So Eight, nine, ten damage because of Five. rage. Yep. That's one attack. Back at the second one. <clears throat> I'm so excited. Doesn't hit. That's a nat one. All right. Anything else? But, um. You know what? I might as well. We're just gonna. Bonus. Yeah. Bonus action aberrant form. Your tentacles pop out. Yeah, just creepy. Oh yeah, Drux right next to her and he gets to see yeah, the tentacles just... pop out this time, because last time he was yeah. unconscious. So they're spectral. They don't like burst out of the flesh. They're like just like purple spectral tentacles that just like Oof. And uh, when she does that, she's just like because, like, the other, like, there's, like, weird tentacles happening before. She's just like, I have my own. Gross. Anything else? Action, uh, bonus that's action. Turn. Okay. The Bone Claw. <laughs> bone Joker. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. It starts to coalesce into shadow. And who's it going to bring with it that it has grappled? Dax. Isolate the threats. Now it's gonna bring Druck. Yeah, Druck's ranged. Why would it not bring Druck? Exactly. I was figuring, like, well, uh, I mean... But everyone within five feet of this thing needs to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, the people who get plus ones are gonna be Estes. I think it's ten feet, actually. So Estes and Dax get plus ones. Uh, so deck con saves from Druck, Dax, Estes, and Coin. Coin also gets a plus one for Correct. himself. So that's 14 plus eight for Estes. <laughs> That succeeds. 23. Uh, 24. Succeeds. Okay. Um, you said that was a constitution save? Yes, please. All right, here you go. Ooh, the dice tell a tale. Yeah, that fails. That is, a, that is a natural one for a six total. Okay. Uh, why is that number not popping up for me? Okay. Uh, 32 necrotic damage to coin. Druck, what'd you get? Uh, 13. 32 necrotic damage. Okay. And then it's going to teleport with Druck. And it's going to take Druck. This is not invoke attacks of opportunity, by the way. And it's going to take Druck over here. Just... Druck's still grappled. Dax is no longer grappled. So it just dropped <clears throat> my ass? Yeah, and it took Druck up onto the rooftop. Just was was that an attack? Nope. Okay. That ability. Uh, and then as it brings Druck up here. Well that's its it's an, it's it's its action. So that's its actions. Uh Ven, you just saw that happen. Druck's just <laughs> So he's up on on top of the roof up there? Yep. Okay. And that thing, out. I'm guessing, has cover since we can't really yeah. see it from below? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Based on everybody's angles, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
right, all right, all right. So many spells to look through now. Does Druk's thing where you can reduce damage, does that specify only attacks, like melee attacks or whatever? Correct. Oh, okay, cool. And and I can only do uh, saves, evasion right? if it's a dex save. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, this is a good way to kill Druk. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Ben, what are you doing? <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, I've got I've got an idea. Because <clears throat> uh, it wants to. You great, cannot, it wants to you stay. cannot see it. I can't. But let me just double check the wording. Okay. I can see the range. All right. I can't see it. I'm going to have to ask about some angles here. Mm -hmm. If I move... Where am I? I'm over here. Okay. I'm over here. Uh, if I moved as far back away from that building... Actually, let me check the range on it. it is, ah, crap. It's 30 feet. <sighs> At, to okay. be fair, asking me if you go to this place and you get well, if you'd have sight on it is kind of meta knowledge. So, wait, what? Uh, oh, no, never well, mind. No, like never no, because like yeah. kind of like yeah. Never mind. Um, I am actually <laughs> it, it teleports and you hear Drucko <laughs> from the pain of the thing. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, here's the best I can do. Is uh, am I still wearing that? Sorry for taking a minute here. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, grab the. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab the corners of my cape. There you go. And I'm gonna fly. Uh, trying to see where I should go. Uh, one, two, three. So much 3D knowledge. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 10, that is too many, so because I can only move, oh wait, I can move 8, I can 16, yeah, that should be enough, I think, mm -hmm. to get onto that rooftop. Uh, what? The diagonal, the diagonal of 50, no, yeah, the, yes, 80 feet, 80 feet of movement will, will, will be able to make, make it the diagonal of 50 feet and 50 feet, right? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to move and, I'm going to move and dash and land on the corner of this roof right here. Okay, oh, so, wow. you're, so you're 10 feet above the building that Druck and yep. uh, the skill. Okay, cool. You're just yep. like so just flying through the air. <laughs> do you uh, like flap? Take the, off. Do you flap the cloak when you fly? <clears throat> uh, I think it was just a, just like a couple times. It's not like okay. it's not like constant. It's just like a couple of wing beats. <laughs> okay, cool. Anything else? Dash action. Uh, so. uh, that is dash action. Uh, oh, uh, what is my? Does the? Do you know if the measurement tool works? It. Nah, it's not really aligned to the grid. Oh yeah, that's not accurate. Okay, uh, one, two, three, because I have I haven't used my spells yet. Uh, is range. It's about thirty feet away. So thirty feet, feet away. Down thirty feet away. How far away is how far away is that make Druck from me? Uh, forty. Okay. Well, me... ten feet down, then forty feet away. Gotcha. So Fifty ish. Okay. okay. Um, where is it? Why can't I that find me? I need Dawn's spell list. Oh, that's right. I didn't take healing word, apparently. Um, I have the mass version. 60 or 8. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yes. I'm going to bonus action mass healing word. Oh, counterspell. Who's counterspelling it? Dawn. It has counter... Ah. Oh. It's part Dawn. It's got Dawn's spell capabilities. Yeah! Oof. Yeah! I did. I remember I tried and yeah, I failed. I'm looking at your character sheet. <clears throat> yep. Oof. Oh wait, okay. what, level, what level is uh, masculine word? It's third. So oh yeah, counterspell's third level. Yeah, so, so counterspell's at wolf. Well, that's not very nice. Yes. I counterspell the oh, healing that's, spell. That's my turn. You fucking dick. <laughs> All right, Druk. You see Ven attempting to cast a healing spell, and then Dawn just goes. Yeah. I was trying to cast it on him too. <clears throat> so. Am I like perma grappled, or is there no, there's like, a, some it, type it's, of? It's an action to break out. Uh, I have okay strengths. You can, uh, breaking out is uh, acrobatics, yeah. right? Acrobatics or athletics. Well, he's just gonna go grab me again. <laughs> uh, after Fen now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yeah, I'll just do another steady aim. Okay. Attack. Yep. 
Uh, that's a 27 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Four. Uh, 30. Yep. 30 piercing Dawn's damage. Looking bad. Um, and. and... Reaction, so they can't do anything. Again, one. <laughs> okay. One cold <clears throat> damage. All right. So that's your turn. It would seem. Yeah. All right. Coin. <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to ask you um, to go with me on a little math. You said this is 40 feet up? Yeah, you definitely don't have enough movement to get there in one turn. You'd have to dash to get there. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I also have... Wings. Uh, n- I mean... Oh, you're also hasty. I don't know how long it takes to ar- get armor off, but I don't. I think it's more than a turn. Oh, it's 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Some of us have an extra turn that we can use dash for free on because we're hasting. Yeah, there's just no way to get up there. Okay, well then that is part of the question I was going to ask. Yeah. Um, ben had to fl- Ben had to fly up with his cloak. <clears throat> yes, true. But at a certain angle, uh, I would be able. Boy, it's been a long time since geometry and. Almost like I teach that class. What's up? <laughs> uh, I think I'd have to go uh, something like at, at about mm, okay so here I am I think I'd have to go at least uh, I think I'd have to get to like right here-ish to still get a good enough angle with my boomerang yeah that'd be you could do it from there yeah but I just can't get up there There's no and there's no way to dash anywhere yeah there's no there's no nope all these are just floating like rooftop and buildings that are just floating through the air. There's no on ramp. There is not no <laughs> on ramp. All right, so I'm gonna yeah use the uh, use the the boomerang All right. from from there. Yeah. What's the what's the range on the boomerang? Range on the boomerang is uh, sixty feet, and then one hundred and twenty. It's sixty and then one hundred and twenty. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, so cool. sixty is yep. effective. Yeah, it'd be. You'd, mm-hmm. I'll say you'd, you'd be just at sixty right there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Sure. Let me see. Let me see. Where are we I don't like geometry, so yeah, that'll okay. work. It's about forty and forty. Math can 40 suck up my nuts. Forty away. That'd be the that'd be forty times the square root of two for the hypotenuse there. Okay. So square root of two. Great. Just you, you, oh, yeah. I'm okay. saying your boomerang will hit from there, so let's, let's All right, go. Great. I love it. All right, I'll do it. I'll roll <clears> it. <laughs> Justin's estimate of, of about 60 was pretty much spot on. <laughs> Fuck right on. yeah. 56 technically, but yeah. Oh, nice. Yes, friggin' knew it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, all right. So I'm going to roll I'm going to roll that boomerang, that Go magical magical boomerang. Being hit. Oh, come on. Be cool. 16? Uh 16 just hits. So the boomerang ah. hits and kind of just lands on Druk. Uh, Druk, if you could scoop that up for me, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's stuck on this <laughs> building. <laughs> yeah. Druk would have to use an action to give it back to you, but yeah. <laughs> uh, that is nine <clears throat> damage. How do you want to do this? No, I'm kidding. Um, oh! Druk, could Druk throw it at its face at point blank range and try to bounce it off its head back to coin? <laughs> As an action. <laughs> like a paper football. Uh, so, just coin, that, you throw your boomerang and it just hits. You know what? It gets lodged in one of the eye sockets, and it's just like thunk. And that's why it's not coming down. Just thunk. Nice. <laughs> I love the idea of like this massive boomerang. <laughs> that I mean, I, just like, like I said, I want. I want. Y'all ever watched really, Inuyasha? Hell yeah! <laughs> I did love the the Inuyasha idea of just like but, uh, hammer throwing. This, anything, uh, anything else, coin? <laughs> Uh, d- that's that's all for me. All right. I believe because that's why yeah. I don't yep. can't take two yep. actions. I don't have any javelins or shit. So. All right, that's just it's like oh fuck. Um, he doesn't talk like that oh, at all. Uh, wait, sorry, there was a bonus action I could take. Oh yeah, to... hunter's mark maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, no, right. I'm already con- I'm already concentrating on uh, haste. So that's I'm not right. Gonna that's right. Unconcentrate on that because I'd probably do some. Uh, I'd lose some some shit uh no that's 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 all i got thank I just you can't fucking do shit from down here <laughs> um, oh, no, my bonus action my bonus action i was gonna use my other uh divine thing to get my level two spell back okay go for it thank you that's all thank you uh Estes is just gonna be like fuck 
and he's just going to Hail Mary attempt to hit. So it'll be disadvantage because he can't actually see the Bone Claw from here. And he's just going to Hail Mary throw a Hand Axe. And try not to hit Druck either. <clears throat> so Druck, you're like you're being grappled. You see the boomerang. Thump, and then you look back and you see Hand Axe just get lobbed fucking blindly. Just Hail Mary. Just... <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it just... Oh, wait. What's his attack modifier from that? Hand X. Equip it. What does he get with that? Plus 8 to hit. 10, no. You just see Hand X go... And then just sail overhead and disappear. He's like, ah, I got another one! And he's gonna throw the other one. Oh, it's a natural 20. Uh, 26 to hit. So it hits. Just... It's an advantage? Yeah, with, with disadvantage. Yeah, he got rolled a natural 20 and a 16. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Nine damage, but it's reduced to four. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Flitz is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. What? Come on, gnomes have 30. Yes, gnomes have 30! Hmm. Gonna get up to Dax and go, please don't waste this. And is gonna cast Fly on Dax. I'm stupid. Is. I mean. So now you have a flying speed of 60 feet. Whee! Uh, Kenna. As long as Flitz concentrates on it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Did I see them try. Uh, I saw Queen throw a boomerang oh, hell up yeah. there, right? Oh, yeah. So I know there's something up there. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, you also um, a teleport with Druck up there. Cool. Yeah. And the top of the roof is 40 feet up, or the bottom of the building? Uh, is 40 feet up? All of it's 40 feet up, just to simplify things. Cool. Um, Let me look through my bonus actions real quick. Um, <coughs> okay, never mind. I'm going <clears> to <throat> save the spell slots. I'm going to use my action to wild shape into a shadow. Hell yeah. Um, and uh, because I am incorporeal, I will just fly up there. What's your flying speed as a shadow? Uh, my my speed is forty. <coughs> oh yeah, so you can get right to the right, right, to, the, right, right to the top. They have a right, right up. Oh no, speed wait. Or... <coughs> Sorry. Um, You're good. <coughs> if they don't have a fly speed, they can't fly. Certain uh, ghosts have a fly speed, like ghosts have a fly speed. Shadows oh, don't. so I can't move vertically. <coughs> No. Ah, dang it. Then I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna uh, wild shape into a giant <coughs> owl instead. If I can't get up there. Um, and that is a 60 foot fly speed. Um, Ugh. and I'm going to, um, do a talent attack. <coughs> uh, trying to pull, like, Go at the thing's arm so it'll let Druck go. My goal, <coughs> so that's not gonna hit with an eleven. Um, and I'm gonna kind of like do a flyby out over here. Ugh. All right, cool. Uh, sure. All right. How big's it? Thing? Large? Um, giant eagles are large. I think. Large. Yes. Okay, Druck. A giant eagle flies by. Uh, Dex, <clears throat> you have a flying speed of 60 feet now. So, I have a flying speed of 60 feet. Yep. Um. Uh. Okay. COVID sucks, y'all. <clears throat> Raining. Um, I need to ask a really stupid question because I feel like I already know the answer. Sure. But like, so if my flying speed is sixty, um, if I move on the ground twenty feet, does that still account for the sixty? Yeah. yeah. All movement speed is shared across your movement types. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm just trying to figure out how far I get to the thing. Um. <clears throat> 40 feet up. 
And then I have 40 feet. So I'd go 40 feet up. Yeah, you get right to the edge of the rooftop. So. I said you don't do it at night at a diagonal. Mm hmm. Um. How far would it. Would I be within. No, I would be within 10 feet, would I? No. <clears throat> I'd be like, this. like the way you're doing it. You'd be right on the edge, and you'd be five, ten, fifteen feet away. So I'd be like right there. Yeah. Mother. Fucker. This little dash. But then that'll be my action. If Correct. I dash. Yeah. <clears throat> Mother trucker. It's looking hurt. What are you doing? It's looking hurt. Um. Um. You can totally say no to this because this mm -hmm. might be calling shenanigans. But if I picked up my longsword with the tentacle, could I go? <laughs> Because the tentacle is a 10 foot reach, and then the sword. Uh, it does specify in the things that the tentacles are their own attack. You can't hold things with your tentacles because they're also spectral. Hey, you know yeah. what? I was <clears throat> really trying. If they, um, if they weren't spectral, maybe. If they weren't spectral. You know what? That is more than fair. Um, It's looking hurt. Yeah. Wait a fucking minute, you said this thing is 15 feet in front of me. I'm just gonna fucking pull out my goddamn tentacle rod that I'm attuned to, because I'm an idiot. Okay. You know what? Me and Dax share the same intelligence. What are you doing with it? Okay. Um, I am going to hit it with my three... Nope. Ten two tentacles. Nope. If you're using the tentacle rod... You're using the tentacle rod? You said you're using yeah. the tentacle rod. Okay. Roll a d it's a melee attack, so it's a d20 Heck. plus 9. And it's three attacks, so. Nat one. Okay. Hits Druck in the back of the head, but doesn't deal any damage. <clears throat> so, Just Druck I feels this like wet a... tentacle, like, slap him in the back of the head. So then I roll... Two more. Two more. Okay, yep. 11 plus, plus nine. 9 is a natural 20. Hits. So that will be 1d6 yep. bludgeoning damage. Yep, no modifiers on it, just a d6. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's one damage. Okay. And he's make a con. Uh, actually, hold on, I don't remember. No, it doesn't. Nope. Only if it hits. Yeah, only if it gets it hit, hit with by all three. Yeah, okay. And then the third tentacle. <clears throat> and then the third one, uh, nineteen. That hits. You know what? That's another one damage. It's Jeez. fine. Just whap, you whap. know what? These wet tentacles just like <clears throat> the first one hits Druck in the back of the head, <clears throat> and the other two just like, like suction cup into the bones. <laughs> it hits Druck in the back of the head, and then it hits the boomerang and wedges the boomerang in further. Just. I fucking tried. You can get it back. It's just thunk. <laughs> anything else? Yeah, but now it's got stuff on it. Now it's getting skull fucked. <laughs> uh, anything else? Um. Uh, no. Just pray. All right. To her mom. And that's gonna bring us to the Bone Claw. She doesn't exist anymore. Um. Oh, I keep forgetting that thing regenerates. Oh. Well, too late now. Um, it's got a lot of people getting around it again. Doesn't like that. So it's gonna. <laughs> nah, it's not. Fuck that. <clears throat> Druck would be like. <laughs> nah, it's gonna. It's gonna keep bringing Druck with. So, Kenny, you can make an attack of opportunity if you want. I will absolutely. Okay. Nope. No, I won't. Okay. And it's gonna leap. 
because it can leap real fucking far. And it's going to leap onto this rooftop holding Druk. And as it's leaping through the air, it's going to come down with a claw attack on Ven. Oh, dear. It's, if it's uh, moving physically, since I've hit it, it is moving 10 feet less. Only if you use a, a weapon, a damage. Uh, no, because the boomerang doesn't deal the damage that your feet uses. Oh, it has to be slashing. Yep, damage. it has to be slashing. Okay. okay. Uh, attacks with a disadvantage because I have blur up. Cool. It's going to. So, Ven, you see this thing run towards you and leap through the air? Oh, dear. First attack with disadvantage. Uh, 12. Uh, you don't have no. the drummer up. Do I not? Nope. Oh, I thought oh, I did. You do not. He, we went through uh, the magic barrier thing. Oh. Remember that wow. So Mage Armor's not on, yeah, so. Oh, uh, I would have redone that if I had remembered that. Sure, uh. you, re you can redo it. Okay, okay. So I'm like, I just, yeah, I kind of have Mage, I just kind of have Mage Armor on a, I assume I do it whenever basis. Okay. Then that is a no. My AC without mage armor is 12. Uh, 15? 15. 15. That is exactly what it needs then. With Alrighty. the new one. Alrighty. So you take... Oh wait, hold on. Shield. Alrighty. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright. Alright. <clears throat> It's blurry Ven just just as a heads a up. Bucket. Just as a heads up, mm -hmm. I will not be so lenient on Mage Armor in the future. I yep, yep. It's your turn, Ven, and this thing's right in front of you. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. Mmm. Oh boy. And it has Druck in its arm. <laughs> yep, yep. A boomerang okay. lodged in its eye socket. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, okay. Uh, let's go with, uh, oh, Drux right there? Yeah. All right. Uh, I am going to cast a second level Cure Wounds. At nah, Counterspell. Perfect. That uses up its reaction. And what then I, what? 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 Uh, and then I'm going <laughs> to... Some I, was like, <laughs> I was looking. I was looking through one of the. I can't remember what book it was, but some creatures can like. I was one creature that has, it can. Oh, I can just take reactions for every turn in combat. It's great. Oh god. Well, this is the same turn at least. So. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, then I'm gonna leap across forty feet. Wherever it went. Two, you're gonna, three, you're gonna leap. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna cloak. I'm gonna cloak my way over. Oops, I'm, that's the wrong thing. I'm gonna cloak my way over over to this rooftop. Okay. Um, and then I believe that's my turn. Yeah, that's my turn because I can't, even though I, my spell didn't go off, it still counts, so I can't use any bonus action spells. Correct, Amundo. Druck. So I've at least used up its reaction. <laughs> Ow. Uh, and he's gonna do another Frostbrand short okay. sword attack. <clears throat> uh, uh, steady aim. Yep. So using everything. Um, 16 to hit. Just hit. <laughs> oh, god damn. Okay. Um, and not a great roll this time. Uh, that is... Sorry. 22 piercing damage, mm -hmm. and... Six cold damage. Reduced to three. It had two hit points left. How do you want to do this? Because <clears throat> uh, it's in his. Because it's grappling him. Yeah. He'll do like one of these, uh, and cut off its arm. Okay. Uh, and then he'll spin around to its other side, and then just stab it through and shove it off the the rooftop. Okay, and it yeah, you get let go right on the edge. Cool. So you know what? Deck save as you land on the edge. Uh, can I assist by trying to pick him up? No, you're too far away. Okay. Can I use haste to try and catch you? You're, you're too far away. Oh. Druck, he's a rogue. You maintain your balance. <clears throat> also, I was gonna say, even if he doesn't, he has the spider climb boots. Wouldn't he just uh, step over onto yeah. the side? All right. Of the building? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Directly, just and you kind of like yeah. lean back a bit. I was like, I like, love you guys. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
thus ends Don Danello and the Skello Gang for probably the, an, another time. For good? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Team Rocket's blasting off again! Uh, but that <laughs> ends that combat. Druck, you are... Everyone, you know, some people are up on a rooftop. Does anyone need a ride down? I'm a giant owl. Dax can fly, Dax can fly for like an hour or something like that. I can, I can fly... Uh... Indefinitely, and Drux's the only one that can't fly. <laughs> yeah, Drux's oh, yeah. gonna run over. Um, and can he like jump to this rooftop without needing to? Uh, what's your strength score? Without my strength score is fourteen. Oh yeah. Okay, and then he'll see how close he can get to the ground from here. Uh, is it thirty feet off the ground or thirty feet to the top? Thirty feet this? off the ground. Oh okay. Hmm. All right. Honestly, with your ten foot reach, you could probably you could hang <laughs> off and drop, <laughs> hang off yeah. and drop twenty feet. <clears throat> you might, you might bruise slide your, down on your nails. You might, you might bruise your uh, your heel a little. There's bit. also someone well, flying around as a giant the bottom eagle. of the building and then hangs off. He's only ten uh, feet. You know ground. what? You know what? Nah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and where those ruins are. I'm just gonna cast uh cast oh, web nice. and then okay. jump into it <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah. minecraft jump. sure yeah you just instantly stick into the webs catch myself with cool. the webs <laughs> that will end the combat encounter yeah uh, just have the main character <clears throat> moment flying with their tentacles out with a fucking long sword they're just like yes uh and coin's gonna speedy run over and just <laughs> Uh, the skeleton, yeah, the skeleton body finally like, collapses off. It breaks into pieces. The skull is still intact, with the boomerang like wedged like halfway into the skull. Make a strength, make a strength check to see if you can pull it out. <clears throat> All right, strength check. Just for fun, yeah. Sure. That's a thirteen. Yeah, you can pull it out. Just. Uh, is there anything on these guys? No. That might. That might like. Oh, yeah, Give Don, us a clue. Don's top hat. <gasps> what? Oh, oh, oh! It was made right. into a bag of holding. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Then they do not have oh. it. <clears throat> oh yeah, because all magic items were fed into the thing. <gasps> yeah. So that's right. Oh. Doesn't have it. Damn! I got hell like excited for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The top hat. Of, the top hat of holding is long gone. Yeah. All right. So nothing. Heard nope, that's it. <clears throat> that ends. Looks like we have to run. That took up some time. The entirety I... of the moon trembles. I think I'm oh, still bleeding. Uh, yeah, so that was 6, 12, 18 seconds. <laughs> right? Six, yeah, 6 seconds. 6, 12, mm -hmm. 18. What um... was I saying? Yeah, so the entirety of the moon trembles violently, and all the figures you've seen roaming around cry out at the same time, The reunion is at hand! Praise! Be. Oh dear. And, and each of them uh, begin raising their hands into the sky before being, being pulled ooh. through the surface of the moon and disappearing. <laughs> one by one, just. <laughs> Suddenly, you uh, feel a colossal shift beneath the surface as all the floating debris begins crashing t t to the ground. <laughs> just oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so, if Drunk was still up there, what went. <laughs> um, leaving small craters wherever they land. Suddenly, you feel another shift as the moon begins slowly falling towards Del Nasra. Majora's, oh, Majora's Mask style. Um, you catch a glimmer of light coming from one of the newly made craters, and where the light sits, you can make out a small fissure in the crater that seems to descend downwards. Well, friends, Flitz is just shall, like, we into the, shall we into the breach? Let's just like confused. <laughs> um, I can I drop wild shape yeah. as soon as I land and start casting conjure elemental. How long does that take? A minute. If you want to spend a minute doing that, yeah. You can't I run. You can't run and like you can't run and cast it. You have to like stay still and cast yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I imagine it's been a few seconds, or at least a quarter of that time, since Ben said his thing. Yeah, when a level that was happening. Yeah, so by the time like everything like Ven's will I narrate that what happened, yeah, you can do that. So you can conjure okay. an elemental. 
Does yeah, that have I any am, material compost cost components by any chance? Um, just uh, soft clay. I'm summoning an earth elemental from the rubble. Okay. What level spell is it yet? It oh, is a. Fair. It is my fifth level spell. All right. Um, last an hour. Last for an hour, and you you, you mm -hmm. summon a. Uh, hold on. I'm looking up some stuff here. Okay. Okay. So, you summon an earth elemental. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you all watch as an earth elemental is formed from the debris of the of this falling debris, and yeah, a rift opens, uh, a, a, a fissure opens up in one of these craters as things begin falling from the sky, and the moon is falling towards the world, just <coughs> with the mask style. <clears throat> uh, do any of you uh, have spare um, healing or uh, I have a, Estes I have a potion, so... If Estes hands you a potion of supreme healing. He just pours it down your throat. <laughs> wow! Okay. We roll them, Justin. I need you all to live. We have to get back. I have to save my people. Uh, all right. Please don't roll shit. Uh, forty hit points. Woo! Okay. That's I'm going I... to. I'm also going to drink my potion of superior healing. As well. Superior or supreme? Uh, it's superior. Okay. Yeah, we got superior healing potions. Okay. One yeah. Point. I think that's eight d four plus something. <clears throat> yeah, eight d four plus eight. All right, cool. I am also going to drink uh one of the potions of fire breath. How long does that last for? An hour. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna offer Drock the other one since he helped me make them. Um... Okay. Thirty-two Ooh. is what I got. I'm just saying, you guys do not have a lot of long, a lot of time to prep because things are yeah. picking up. That's, right. that's why I'm slamming a potion. Okay. Instead of, you know, stuff. What basically, part basically of everybody has like enough time to do one action. What part of Estes' body is missing? His uh, left arm. Could the prosthetic limb that I have be given to him? Yeah, totally. Uh, okay, Dax is gonna fly it down and then give her. Give him the prosthetic limb that she used. Nice. Does that require a tomb? And I don't remember. Mm, nope. Just have to slap that bad boy on. Oh, it's hell an action. Yeah. Oh, um, thank you. And he slaps it on. Could not be added to inventory. Whatever. He has it. Puts it on. Nope. Holds his warhammer with both. The same then just grabs onto his warhammer with both hands and just starts running towards the fissure that opened up. <clears throat> Dax gives like that knowing like smile of like fuck yeah I know how that feels. Doesn't even retrieve his hand axes. He's just like gills are lost. <laughs> Dax nope. is following him into battle. Yep. Coin, cool. coin jumping in. All right. Let's go. Yeah, Druck will make sure that unless uh, unless you already said that to get the boomerang. Oh no, I've pulled yeah, it. Yeah, coin already got it. Okay. Cool. It's on my back. All right, All right. So you get to the you get to the fissure uh, that opened up in the crater, uh, and you can see that it is about a deep, 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 deep descent into darkness. Uh, and it's, let me just see if I'm correct on where I am in my notes. Yeah, it's just a descent down, steep, like incline down. And it's dark as uh, fuck, no light down there whatsoever. Uh, coin's gonna just baseball slide it down, try and just jump right on in and just start sliding down. Okay, coin, it's it's pretty steep, so coin just disappears after it's oh, yeah. gone. Yeah, drugs, drugs. Yeah. Alright, uh, the tip of the spear, man. Down. after about a hundred feet, you're still sliding and picking up lots of momentum. Uh, let me look up terminal velocity, because this is a long descent. Not considered falling. Uh, you might, I mean, I'll just tell you what I plan to do anyway. Let's just do some webbing okay. at the end. 300 feet, 400 feet, 500 feet, still sliding, 600 feet, still sliding, 1,000 feet, still sliding, 2,000 yeah. feet, still sliding, picking up speed. Uh, I will say if you guys hit a solid surface, like that's a lot of bludgeoning we'd, damage. We'd be getting <clears> some, <throat> we'd be getting some, some road rash. 
uh, you're at a, oh. you're at like you're <laughs> at like I, you're at like, and I don't I don't cap the falling damage, so you're at like two thousand feet. That's like two hundred d six if you hit a solid surface. Mm-hmm. Uh, three thousand. You see one feet. coming up? Nope. Four thousand okay. feet. Five thousand feet. You're at about a, you're almost at a mile, and about mm-hmm. one hundred and fifty feet ahead, you can see a solid wall, and you're all just like, <laughs> web. Okay. Because yeah, feather fall wouldn't work for this because it's not technically falling. Um, so you. Oh dang. Yeah, because you're just sliding. You're not actually actively yeah. falling. Um, we all leap through the air <laughs> <laughs> and fall. Uh, so oh, yeah. you leaps or falling, I guess. Yeah. So Druck conjures a web. Okay. Uh, Minecraft Pogger move. It's it's at it's at will, so I could just keep. I'm just casting trying to think. If I need the, to. Trying, yeah. It's like, so yeah, the first one, <laughs> the first the first web, you just all break through it. Just. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it slows your descent a little, but and then it's just like Druk's constantly throwing webs up, and it's like. <laughs> and eventually, you'll get to the bottom. I'm still gonna say. It's when you all like hit the bottom pretty hard. It's we, not as. As long as we don't take four hundred d six falling damage, you all I'm take good. you all take three damage. Okay. <laughs> I'm just mad that it's the it's the it's the it's oh. the scene from anyone who's concentrating on a spell needs to make a concentration check. By the way, right? My spell. My oh, ace would and the main the main reason these webs weren't working that well was there's a stone elemental going like. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Sorry guys. Well, it doesn't need to slide. It can just like oh, sink true. into the earth. Yeah. Uh, fly is no longer up. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so as soon as he hits it, and then I just kind of go. Boom. Yeah. Anyone else? I was having an easy breezy beautiful. Anyone else group? concentrating on any spells? Uh, nope. the elemental is still here. I rolled a twenty-one. Okay, cool. I literally rolled a natural one on that fucking check for fly. <laughs> no blitz. But isn't it a Constitution saving throw for concentration? Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nine. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, no, Flitz. What's your Flitz's? Oh, that's a two. But he's a gnome. He's got he has advantage on concentration. Okay. 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 On, that's Flitz. a three. <laughs> that fly's gone. He just needs to beat oh. a ten. <laughs> um, yeah. Gonna expend two sorcery points and get back some packed slots. Okay. All right. So you're all at the bottom now of this mile long slide <laughs> um that was fun uh you can hear someone muttering to themselves as you complete your descent and as you complete your descent you spill out into a small chamber and notice a sphere resembling the one from the prison but this one is lying on the ground and seems inactive uh the walls are covered in strange writings and musings written in blood a variety of small chitinous insectoid creatures you don't recognize have been disemboweled and partially eaten and litter almost every inch of the room. A halfling man, in expensive looking clothing yet grimy, bloody clothes, is hunched in a corner and writing on a wall in blood. Corpse of, corpses of other individuals are scattered about as well, including that guard con- convoy you all saw a week ago or so uh, that was headed to the prison. The reunion. <laughs> and Voxhill Osterbrand continues to write and moves to another portion of wall and you recognize that he's incredibly disheveled and dirty, doesn't seem to notice you or pay any of you any attention, just is writing on the wall. None of it makes any sense. They're just weird musings. Uh, and beyond this chamber is a roughly hewn tunnel that stretches ahead. And he's just sitting there writing on the wall with blood. He like walks over to one of the corpses, dips his hands in some wounds, and then just continues to write. The king on. just goes, "That's Voxilosterbrand. What's he doing here?" He, uh, long yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Voxil. He, he... Voxil, and he just keeps writing. Ha! <laughs> Reunion. The reunion's happening. Everything will be consumed. And just keeps writing. We should keep going. Yes, we should. We... That is that is correct. We should keep going. We can't help him now. All right. Everyone's proceeding. Mm-hmm. I mean, a part of me wanted to just cut off one of his legs, so. 
<laughs> so I want to just go. We down. don't have the time. Yeah, no. The prince also might not approve of that. Yeah. Um. The tunnel stretches ahead and down about another mile, so it's another mile long descent. So that's an hour total that you've been walking. Ah, uh, nope. You slid down. This one does not slide. This one's about a half hour walk. So anyone who's concentrating on something that has an hour duration, you have thirty minutes left. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. The tunnel stretches ahead and down, and uh, before coming to an incredibly steep staircase of roughly carved moon rock that descends down into darkness with no bottom in sight. It looks like the only way to reverse this staircase is to climb down it. Like, it's incredibly steep. It's like basically a sheer drop, but there's like stairs carved out onto it a little bit. That seems to have eroded way over time. Like London Towers kind of thing? Sure. But yeah, you Climbing down looks like it's the only way you can get down unless people have, like, flying speeds and whatnot. And climbing speeds. Yeah. Not enough <laughs> yeah. room for... There's not enough room in here for anyone to, like, turn into anything like a giant eagle and fly down. Not enough room for that. Um, can my large elemental get down? Well, yeah, I can kind of merge into the stone and just... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Partially merge and then you just ride it? Yeah, can, can my elemental <laughs> be, like, an elevator for us? Um, kind of blank the down the side. What, what's its uh, size? Uh, large. What's its strength score? 20. It could carry everybody. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay. That'll, sig on. that'll significantly oh reduce the time. I mean, I, I we... really want this thing to sound like Droopy Dog now. Going down, sir. <laughs> sure. It, oh, it says that time in that... Safe. In that sounding voice, it says that in Terran, but because of Ends Crystal, everybody hears it say, going down, sir. <laughs> As it just, just glides hey, Colin, down. Hey, cast haste on it. What's its, uh, what's its climb speed or whatever, movement speed? Uh, it has a burrow speed of 30 feet. Okay. It's not going to, it's going to partially burrow. Yeah, it and has it doesn't, a... And it doesn't, dis I don't think Earth Elementals displace the er area they're burrowing through, so it's just... Cool. You get to the bottom in three and a half minutes. If you all would have climbed down, it would have taken 15. Except for drunk. Hey. Uh, cool. Uh, so. Like an elevator. Cool. Uh, the descent that is ends, so cool. Uh, the descent <laughs> ends in an oval... This is going quicker than I anticipated. Uh, the descent ends in an oval-shaped chamber adorned in murals painted on the walls and glimmering paints that almost look like the paints have been made from crystal. Uh, they depict the first Cathatune people, resembling motes of light, then giving themselves physical form. The next painting shows them creating this moon and creating cities atop it out of the rock. This transitions into the creation of a creature that resembles the Cathatune, but wispy and massive, numerous tendrils snaking out of its back, kind of similar to Dax's tentacles. Uh, the painting also reveals that during the creation of this creature, a lone Cathatune was responsible for it, and appears to be holding what resembles a sphere of annihilation, but gold in color. The final painting shows this creature, which you can easily ascertain as Shiadan, which is this shadowy thing, uh, being sealed beneath the city and surrounded by four pillars of crystal brimming with arcane energy with a blue sigil of glowing magic on the ground beneath him. It also shows how the Cathatune made the sigil on the ground, by imbuing the four crystal pillars with varying levels of magic with one of these Cathatunes seemingly threatening Shiadan with the Golden Sphere. However, the Golden Sphere from the paintings seems to be floating in the center of this chamber, above a stone plinth. You can also hear footsteps approaching from a dimly lit corridor to the left, or to the right. Um, <clears throat> where was I? And it seems like this person, will, whoever's making these footsteps, will be here any second. So we each have one action to prep. You have like basically, uh, you have like you can do one thing to prep. Cool. Can I make sure that I get ahead of everyone and bonus action hide so that I can pretty much attack them as soon as they're sighted? So like hiding behind this plinth. Per. Uh, I, plinth well, is the I only thing we're hiding behind in the, the room. Okay. There's nothing else in the room it... except for the paintings on the wall and then a plinth with a sphere on top of it. Oh. I don't want to hide next to it. Can I just make sure I'm behind it? Yeah. Putting myself between it and there, but still like not next to it? Yeah. 
Okay. It's like there's like steps. Sorry, there's, <laughs> there's, there's steps that lead up to the plinth, so you can like be down where there's nowhere near it. Okay. What's everybody else doing? And can I send Calvin, my Earth Elemental, um, to burrow oh. under all of this and get you uh, use a dash dash action to get right under the plinth and stay there? Does it cost cost an action to command this thing? Because I said you each get one action. Yeah. Um. Let me double check the spell, because I know he goes right after me or uh, has his own initiative. Um. It obeys any verbal. Uh. It obeys any verbal commands issued to you. No action required. Cool. So he's gonna just. Where, where do you want him? Like in the room, under the plinth, anywhere. Uh. Yeah. Under the. Uh. Just under the surface of the plinth. So, like, it would take five feet for you to, like, see his head popping out. It would take about... Okay, so just under the surface of it, not, like, fully... Just under it. the surface. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, so, you, I'll let you have movement wherever you want to go in the room, anywhere, post up anywhere. <clears throat> um, can we see the room? You know Do what? we have a map? Yes, there? you can. Sweet. That actually might have been a better thing to do. Um... Ah, cool. And we're and we're hearing stuff to the right. Yep. Hi. Like they're okay. they're like literally like any second, like maybe three seconds, they'll be in here. Okay. Cool. Uh, I did my stealth check, and it was a natural twenty. <laughs> what does that bring? What does that bring you to? Thirty-three. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. And then I'm holding my action right. for position where you guys want to be in the room. Uh. And what the fuck is that? Uh, that's Calvin. Oh, don't worry. I got a token for him. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, that's Calvin. Seriously. So, yeah, what's everybody doing? You got uh, one action right then, and movement uh, to do anything. So, uh... Oh, um, I know what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to stand... Uh, I guess I'm going to hide behind these steps a little bit. Or just get for cover behind the steps. Okay, you're and small get enough ready. you can get cover behind the steps. <clears throat> and then uh, cast uh, Spirit Shroud, which... To my understanding, okay. would just call... as an aside, if anyone's casting spells with vocal components, this person's close enough to hear would probably be close enough to hear said vocal components. Just Let as a heads see. up to anyone who's trying to hide. Oh well, yeah, I'm not really trying to. Hide. Okay, cool. You can do that. Uh, Dax, and, what are you uh, doing? Uh, yeah. uh, forty feet of movement. So 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 30, 35, 40, to there, and then casting levitate, going twenty feet up, kind of like up against the rocks being creepy as fuck. You know what I mean? How do you cast Just Levitate? Like out. Uh, it is my... Do you get that with your class features now, and not just the armor? Yeah. Okay. The class features. Uh, Kenna, are you moving anywhere and doing any actions? Uh, yes, I'm gonna tuck into this little alcove. That's, and I'm yeah, also so that alcove is my... where the, uh, the descent was oh, that's, from. Oh, yeah. that's where it's coming <clears> from? <throat> yeah. Uh, then in that case, I'm gonna tuck over this way. Um, kind of right next to Ben. I'm actually gonna move. Um, I mean, I just want to be like right. right around the corner. Um, Wait, and I'm gonna you guys summon don't mom. Have a lot of time to prep, so. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna summon mom. Okay, cool. And then I am going to cast a spell I haven't cast before, greater invisibility. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, and then I'm going to uh one two th I'm gonna one two three four five six seven eight. Cloak fly my way over to here. Okay, Flitz is just gonna post up right here. <clears throat> uh, so I think Kenna and I both called forth spirits. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's gonna cast Mage Armor. Oh shit. Mm. Never mind. Oh, he already has it built into his AC that he always has Mage Armor cast. Okay, good to know. Mm. All right, uh, I think that's everybody. Cool. Mm -hmm. As the footsteps get closer, you see the familiar form of Rowan Buxton enter the chamber, and he sees some of you. He sees Dax floating up in the air. One sec. He sees Dax okay. floating up in the air. <laughs> Who else would he see? He sees Ven. But. Uh, yeah. Sees true Kenna. sight. Sees I look intimidating. Of course he's got true sight. He's got a fourth little spell on that. Sees Kenna. And he just goes, Ah. AC also focuses on the sphere. 
And those of you who saw him absorb the weave, it is no longer under his skin. Like, he's no longer showing that mm. he's in possession of it. Ah, oh, the reunion has been completed. The weave now courses through my master. Within the next two hours, this moon will collide with the world and he will be free. Produces a wand from his robes that's etched with a um, symbol of a... Uh, I can't think of the school right now, but a symbol of a spell. <sighs> Once I deal with you lot and destroy that sphere, my reward shall be immeasurable. And he just kind of cracks his neck and just starts walking around the room. Now, where are the rest of you hiding? And just make, a, make, an, attack, make an attack roll with advantage. <laughs> uh, so that is... Uh, he's using the laser pistol? Okay, so make an attack um, roll with nice. advantage. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. 25 okay. does hit. Okay, and that is... And Drek was the only one holding an action, so Drek is the only one that gets one off. Unfortunately, no surprise round because he saw everybody else. But okay, that is twenty-seven radiant damage. Alrighty, let's pull up the encounter real quick so I can modify his hit points. You said twenty-seven radiant damage. Yes. Cool. All right. I rolled. All right. Iffy. I need everyone else to roll. In, <laughs> I need everyone else to roll initiative. And he was walking around, so he'd be about here. S has got a three. Flit's got a two. Uh, Dax, what'd you get? Eighteen. Druck. Uh, twenty. So the way I rule this stuff is, you just went, so you're probably not going to have a turn. Otherwise, you oh. get two attacks in a row, and it's kind of broken. So. Because that was that you. doesn't. That's it's doesn't kinda, him it's holding kinda, an action. Yeah. yeah, but it's kind of fucky because now he has a turn immediately, and it's kind of like oh yeah, two true, attacks true. in a row. Yeah, yeah, because you because technically it's like rules is yeah, yeah, because rules is so written. there's no point. <laughs> like I said, but that's okay. <clears throat> it's okay. It's, it's kind of fucky to deal with, and it annoys me sometimes because it's like yeah, it's starting encounters from stealth is really weird. It's like oh, here's ninety damage right out of the gate. There's your encounter yeah. done. Um, Kenna, what'd you get for initiative? You're muted. I got a four. Calvin got a fifteen. All right, I gotta add another person to this. What's Calvin's hit points? Calvin has one hundred and twenty-six hit points. What's his AC? Dang. Seventeen. Speed. Thirty feet, walking and burrowing. And what do you get for initiative? Fifteen. All right. Uh, Calvin is the best member of the party. No. I'm coin. <clears throat> uh, ten. Then, dirty twenty again. Okay. Nice. Uh, Keep rolling eighteens on that. All right. So let me just look something up. Yeah, fuck it. There's no way to run this without getting complicated. So, Druck, what are you doing, buddy? Pew! Pew! <laughs> okay. So, anyways, I started blasting! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, oh, no, guys. What? Yeah. Yeah. Was that, a, was that a crit? Yeah. Oh. Alright, go for it. Alright. Oh, I forgot <laughs> he can do one of these things. He's going to use his reaction to do shadowy reflection. And he's going to catch the shot. Okay. Oh, that's so badass! <clears throat> I forgot though. he has that. Cool. He's like fucking Kylo Ren holding And he's holding it. And as part of the same reaction, he makes a type with... Oh, he can throw it back. He makes an attack with proficiency regardless of his weapon proficiencies, and the missile has a normal range of 60 feet. 
and deals an extra. Okay, he's gonna throw it back at Druk. Cool. But he still makes he makes a separate attack roll for it, so it's not an auto crit against you. He just separate attack roll. Yeah. Uh, 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 sixteen to hit. Uh, miss. Okay, so he catches the shot from the laser pistol and throws it back, and it misses. Cool. Man, let's see how much I would have done. Uh, cool. I would have done. That's. I don't want to look at all that. <laughs> yeah, it would have been gross. Nineteen yeah. times two. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's my turn. He's then gonna use he's a. Le- he's gonna use a legendary action. Oh boy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and get right up on Druk. All right. Well, you, you use it as, wait. Did they they used his reaction? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. Then I'm going to use my reaction as part of my <clears throat> class feature to move half my movement speed twenty feet away from him. Okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> what direction should I go? Yeah. Um, let's just go across him. All right. Uh. <clears throat> 10, 20. Boop. So he's gonna run up on me, and I'm just gonna go back to where he was. <laughs> All right. Drek just like jukes him. Ben, yeah. your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with a fourth level spiritual weapon right up in his face. Alrighty. As a bonus action. And I'll attack with that. Go for it. That is a 16 to hit. 16 just hits. Okay. Uh, you can see, uh, he like just, when he's like, he like, uh, I don't know. It looks like the wand is partially disintegrating the air around him. Ooh. Meaning you can tell this wand cast disintegrate. Rody. Uh, that is. Uh, let me get, what was that again? 15 plus 21 points of force damage. Nice. All right. <laughs> Great sword. Oh, uh, hold on. I fucked up again. What? Uh, for his catching the missile, he has to reduce the damage to zero. Oh. So what was the damage from the laser pistol? Uh, the damage... There's no uh, laser to do it. <laughs> was... What's 19 times 2? Uh, 38. 38. So, 38 plus 34. He's not reducing that, even with uh, what he can do. 73? 72. 72. 72. Okay, yeah, so never mind, he does not catch it. I forgot to read that part. Okay. Uh, well, he, so uh, he takes it? Well, he's looking like absolute dog shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> yep. Okay. Uh, and then with my action... Uh, so he does have his reaction still, then. Oh no! Oh, it took. Wait. He can't reduce the damage. He can't reduce that damage, so he wouldn't have done, used his reaction to do that. Oh, okay. Then in that case, uh, when I cast that spiritual weapon, because I'm, I don't know if you were gonna do this, but be, if he has still had his reaction, I was gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna use my feet. I haven't gotten a chance to use yet. I'm gonna use a sorcery point and cast, uh, cast that spiritual weapon with subtle spell. So there are no verbal mm-hmm. or somatic components, so it cannot be counterspelled. Okay. <clears throat> so Ven just, Ven just looks at him, and a great sword just appears out of thin air and attacks with okay, no cool. motion or words. Sounds good. And then action is going to be... Uh, Ven is going to take the dodge action. Okay. That's your turn. And uh, move... One, two, three, four, five move over to no i'm not gonna do that that puts me ah he's got me cornered i forgot about the fucking laser pistol (laughs) i forgot it was a thing fuck moved uh, right there okay that's my turn okay he's gonna use another legendary action Mm -hmm. 
to move back towards drug. Okay. Yeah, dude, no mercy. No mercy, Justin. Come at me. Uh, Dax. <laughs> Um, okay, this is what I'm trying to do, and I'm just trying to make it look real fucking cool. Um, never say that because it, it, it usually fucks up if you say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. All I want to do, um, I'm pushing off from the wall with levitate, but I'm, I'm, um, like letting it drop. So, like, I'm pushing down and, like, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to plummet, like, you slowly fall. So, I'm like pushing off. And like the 20 feet, I, I'm trying to just do my movement. Okay. You know what I mean? No. Because... Are you trying to push yourself out away from the wall? Yes. Then you would fall if you're dropping the spell. Because you can't... You have to, to levitate, you have to like pull yourself along on a surface. You can't just float along with levitate. Or you <clears> can <throat> push or pull against an object. Yeah, so you'd get 20 feet yeah. out and then you wouldn't be able to move with levitate anymore. You float gently to the ground if the spell is still aloft. So okay. I would just like so just push you... it off. Okay. There and then the so rest of my that's, movement. That's twenty feet of your movement. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd have twenty feet left. Yeah. So then. Fifteen. Five. Ah! Oh, why can't I move, Dax? That's why because I don't have the pointer. <laughs> 10, 15. Hopping on. Looking at where Druck is. With uh, our... Okay. It would be half moving to our... climb up without using the stairs. Oh, my. So you'd get right there. Get right there. Totally cool. Chill. Um, I can see our yeah. baddie <clears throat> bitch over there. Yeah. You're not raging anymore, by the way. I, yeah, I, I'm not raging. Um,. He looks like absolute dog shit. <laughs> There's like a hole in his chest. Uh, fuck it. That's like I'll burning. Use my... Which means he doesn't I'll use this. Fucking, re fucking regenerate. I'll fucking. use my action to dash, so go far. And... That was Radiant, right? Fucking uh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my action to dash pistols. to get up no to him. No more laser pistols ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll use my action to dash to get up to him because I'd have enough movement. Oh, excellent. Great. Okay. And then I don't want Druck to be alone if he not if we go down, <clears> we <throat> go down together, bestie. Moon bitches for life. Uh, <laughs> and then for life, fuck yeah. Um, and then I'm going to bonus action rage. Okay. And then can I please get an intelligence save from him? Uh I'm twenty four. Oh. I mean, that doesn't. I mean, mm. he kind of succeeds. Wizard vampire, let's go. I mean, it's, it's so <clears throat> But, you know, Druk's not alone. Come on, bestie, let's do this. And that's my turn, and I'm just looking really, All like, right. stern. It's Calvin's him. turn. Calvin? Yeah. <clears throat> um, cool. Calvin is going to walk, um, still underground. Yep, not making um, any noise or movement, or, like, yeah. displacing anything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, to right behind Rowan, and yeah. then he's going to merge up and grapple him. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Rowan gets to make either athletics or acrobatics. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. 16. Uh, 20 athletics. So this earth elemental comes over the ground and just... Or 19 <laughs> athletics. Just grabs Rowan. He's like, what the fuck? All right, that's Calvin's action. Yep. Uh, and then he's just going to uh, hold him there. Okay, that brings us to Rowan. For uh, Druck and Dax to uh, swing cool. away at him. That brings us to Rowan, then. Fuck. All right. Um... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what does he do? What does he do? What does he do here? Yeah, fuck this shit. He's gonna point the wand at Dax. <laughs> no, he's... Fuck that. No, he's not. He's gonna go... This probably won't work on most of you. And he's gonna point the wand back at Ven. Oh, dear. He's gonna smile and cast Disintegrate at Ven. <clears throat> oh, dear. Ven, I would like a dexterity saving throw, please. I oh, that's dexterity. right. It's a dex save. Yes, please. Oh, no. I thought it was an attack roll. Nope. 
Okay. Oh, of all the times I wish I had counterspell. Um. Okay. Okay. I did just. Does dodge have an effect on deck nope. saves? It doesn't? Nope. Is it just attack rolls? Yes. <sighs> that feels like that should. Well, that sucks. Do right? something. Okay. That's yep. Rough, buddy. Oh, yep. you make you make dexterity oh, yeah. saving throws with advantage. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, it's going to be okay. eighty-two points of damage. So if Ven fails, Ven's dust. Oh <clears throat> boy. Oh. Oh, I should have gone with my other idea for what to do first. Oh boy. He okay. sees you have one of the crystals. He kind of knows what those be doing. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna, let me just let me just look through it's all my spells real quick. Dex save with advantage. You yep, have yep. I just want. Yeah. I don't think I have. I don't have counter spell. You know, neither does, neither does flits. Yep. Shield is just for AC. <clears throat> God, I could have sworn dexterity, or I could have sworn. Nope. Great was a was an attack roll for some reason. Nope. Uh, okay. Okay. That's why and... Eclipse died because she failed the. Uh, That's the how, save. Yep, yep. That's how my wizard died. <laughs> yep. I see a theme here. All right, was... all it's right. a guy who's pissed off and wants to kill you guys. That's yep, team. yep. He just got was... locked over, so he's like, oh, and I never can. I... Somebody, other people have death ward on them, but not me. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, I All think right. I have death ward. So it's a deck state with advantage, basically. But yep, I haven't yep. had my turn yet. <clears throat> yep. Luckily, right. you, have a, you have a demon hand that's got one wish left. Oh, boy. All right. I'll use it. Come on, Ben. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. Yeah, I'm going to roll it on the I'm gonna roll it on the thing, just so, just so we're all. All right. All right. I get two of these. That uses a charge on the wand. That's a twelve, but I haven't. I, I was only one. I didn't roll the okay. damage. Other one. Other one. Uh, let me see if you're within ten feet of coin. You're not within ten feet of coin. But that is a nineteen. All right. You mm. are not damaged at all and not disintegrated. <sighs> oh shit! Just Jesus for, Christ! Just, just, just for fun, uh, it turns you to dust. Uh, yep, yep. Everything you're wearing and carrying except magic items can only be restored to life by a true resurrection or a wish spell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he sees you dodge it and he just goes... You laughed at my dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> that thing just saved my damn life. <laughs> Coin. Yeah. Holy fuck. Coin is going to use the <clears throat> bonus action oh. and... You can't see uh, him from there, by the way. I can't see him from there? No, because the plinth would be taller than you. Mm. Cool. Yes, yeah, so you can't see anybody from where you are. You can see Kenna and Ven, and that's about it. Uh, also, real quick, Justin, is there just like a chunk of stone missing? Oh, yeah, a me? ten feet portion of uh, moon rock behind Ven is just gone. <laughs> Minecraft block just missing. <clears throat> In my brain, Duel of Fates is just playing at this moment. Fuck. That would've been bad. <laughs> mm hmm Great, so 10 feet, uh, going to use the bonus action to pull out the, the, the whip sword, mm -hmm. and then move, uh, I guess, what, one, two, So if I can definitely be within ten feet of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna swing on that fool. Go for it. Um, I definitely have people within ten feet. Uh, by the way, we never talked about what spirits with me. Obviously, it's a golden glittering yavelin. Okay. Obviously, and also it's more than one spirit. I think. So. A guy you just crowded. found out she, she her spirit was with. Bahamut too. Oh, and, this oh, it's is a so spirit sweet. Coming with me, and also the spirit of Don Donello. Okay. Yeah, cool. bitches. Well, okay. <laughs> there, there, there is there isn't a spirit left. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Didn't realize that. No, nope, no more, no more Don. Then I guess it's just a golden glittering yodelin. Okay. All right. Uh, or silvery glittering yodelin. Sure. Uh, yeah. Platinum. Glittering Yodlin. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Then I'm gonna make the attack on this fool. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Uh, I 
It is a 22 hit. Uh, yep. Right. Okay. Um, so it's going to do regular slashing damage. <coughs> by 16. And then it's... Uh, I'm going to just roll it with it. The, the shroud gives me an extra D8 of any either radiance, necrotic, or uh, cold damage. Mm-hmm. I think of my choice. Mm-hmm. I think obviously I got to go radiant, but I'm also going to cast spiritual weapon at a first level and you said this was a vampire so that's another natural so i'm gonna roll that's 4d8 so far you mean he's a level you mean, what do you mean you mean, you mean smite pardon me sorry that's i mean uh, yeah okay yeah go for it i'm actually gonna do it at level two so that's four one two three four plus another eight from the uh yeah. spirit yeah. shroud five mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, we're at 16 right now Plus 19, so that is uh, 35 right now. Okay. I really wanted to get that disintegrate off to prove that he was bad stuff. Listen, listen. I could. I know it was gonna kill me if I failed that saving throw. 27. 27 hits. Yeah. is max damage on that okay. so that's eight he damage. turns into mist Ooh. oh that means we got him but does is does a smite attack on he's that a, he's missed mist? right now that was that was all the damage he's missed oh i was just asking a question if a radiant damage does anything to the mist i don't know that you don't know that i don't know the book <clears throat> coin would really wouldn't really know either but uh he's just floating mist now no longer grappled because he's missed. Mm-hmm. And it looks like he's going to get into the process of start fleeing down that tunnel that he came from. On his turn. Anything else, Coin? <clears throat> uh, no, that's all. That's, that's I mean, just turned him into, into <coughs> mist. Okay. Kenna. Why don't, why don't you hang out in a produce section? He is missed. <clears throat> okay. Fuck. Um... From my training in Vitmir, what I know about vampire lore? Arcana check. Or history. Arcana or history. <coughs> yeah. Um, both are a 12. I mean, vampires are pretty common knowledge. Um, mm-hmm. <coughs> fuck. Um... Well, in mist form, can only be destroyed if he's hit with sunlight or running water. Okay. Um. Well, and uh, once he gets to his resting place, he'll heal again and become physical. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, then I am going. And running water a... means like physical running water, not spell based running water. Okay. Uh, dang, I was gonna be like, does tidal wave count? No. Yeah. No. Ah. Um. I'm going to tap Ven with a uh, death ward. Okay. Thank you. After <clears> seeing him <laughs> nearly get hit by a uh, disintegrate. Um, and then I'm going to. Um, start oh actually I, have, I hold on I'm sorry uh while he's in mist form you would know he can't do anything really manipulate etc uh-huh. etc et cetera, et cetera. uh weightless flies hovers uh he can pass through narrow spaces because he's missed uh has advantage mm-hmm. on strength decks and con saves and is immune to all net non-magical damage except the damage it takes from sunlight but sunlight could only all non-magical but we, only we, sunlight can destroy him while he's in mist form because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. You just hit him with a sword and he's dead. Yeah. Mm. Um, it was pretty common knowledge. Is that something that Yadalun would have taught Coin? About vamp- I mean, anyone could learn about vampires, so yeah. Sunlight would be the only thing that could kill him at this point. Or running yeah. water. Because <clears throat> it specifies he can't turn into mist if he's in sunlight or running water, so it makes sense mm. those are the only two things that can destroy him while he's in mist form. Yeah. Um, then I would like to start uh, Ma- take mom and I uh, run forward 30 feet and let everyone know um, that he's gonna try to return to the spawn point 
um, and instruct uh, Calvin point. to do the same. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna okay. try to respawn, guys. <laughs> All right. Shit, this turned cold. Uh, Essis is, 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 is did, just did you tell like, us to spit on him? Essis is just like <laughs> running water. Essis is like, I got nothing for a vampire at this point, so that's Essis's turn. <laughs> uh, Flitz. Come on, Flitz. Do you got me any like? Oh man, daylight would be great right now. No, daylight doesn't even count. There's oh, a spell that's, right. that's like sunlight. Yeah. That's a fifth level yeah. spell, but I can't Sunbeam, take it I yet. Think it is. Well, Flitz is like, we just keep running. We can we can run faster than a fucking fart cloud. I do have nine wooden stakes, guys. He's missed. Um, well, once well, like he shows if we, up. If we can get to the body Druck. first. You said running water. Like uh, physical running and he water. Pulls like, out like his, he pulls out his water skin and just starts going. Mm, doesn't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pour, pours some on the no, no. mist. That's your action. I don't think there's water on this moon. That's your action. There's probably. Yeah. Yes, this was, this was a world. It's not physically a moon. It was a oh, world okay. before. Yeah. So yeah, Druk uses his action to dump the water on them. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's running water. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Not enough. Um, that was your action. Yeah, yeah. I really thought Druk was going to piss on it. I'm not going to lie. Hindsight I mean, it, question. It has been a while since we've gone to the bathroom. Uh, How would a water say... elemental work against this? Not running. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we got other things to do. So mm -hmm. if this guy wants to go ahead and respawn, you fucking can. Um, we need to get what we came here for. Um, what so about Drux Flitz? What if you put him into your bottle? He's not going in my bottle. Oh, I'm just saying. No, right. but also you guys are still in combat. So there's what's yeah. Your, yeah. So what's your opinion? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. So. Yeah, unless unless the horn of blasting would do anything to him, um, which it probably won't. Um, <laughs> Drek's gonna use his movement and bonus action to just get ahead of this and start okay. heading out of the room. All right, cool. That'll put Drek off the battle map. Basically, out of the encounter. Van. Uh, where is it? 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 <clears throat> Justin, is the horn cold? Is the horn cold? Ah, the... very much so. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And and that thing will pursue him and fuck him up royal, right? Oh, that I'm gonna... horn! <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am gonna. I am gonna use my action. I can't even find. I know I have. I know. I know you have. It. Yeah. Okay. I know I so then you blow figure. on the horn. Yep. And a frost giant zombie crawls out of the horn. And just starts taking off after the mist. Get him! Yeah. All right. Cool. I think that takes care of that. Well, they're all, they're running down the same tunnel. You guys are gonna be running down. But uh, oh, okay. He's keeping up with the mist. Yeah. It's only moving at twenty feet. So you all okay. start running down the tunnel. And then I'm gonna, yeah. And then I'm gonna start heading that. Okay. Way. We're gonna go to break. <clears throat> oh. And then we're gonna be back with what I didn't expect. So the end of this. Mm. So be back in ten minutes, everybody. Whew.
12 start running down the tunnel after turning Rowan to mist, right? Mm-hmm. Well, all right. You sure? Yes. No, let's just give up, guys. No, oh, okay. yeah, let's stop. No, let's stop. Let's stop pursuing <laughs> the moon. Just double, just double so, checking. You know, we, we, can, we can jump to... Circle, right? Oh, right. We can I jump mean, back I, to the planet, I, right? We just have shame, to look in shame, that direction and jump. teleport spells wouldn't work here because it's technically a different world. This corridor uh, leads to a rather large cave-like doorway. Blue light, it takes, it's like a 100-foot-long thing. Uh, and you can see the, the mist kind of follows out. It goes through a crack in the wall, and the giant just plows right through the wall. Um, <laughs> this corridor leads to a rather large cave-like doorway. Blue light pours out from the doorway, and the sound of surging electricity and tremors are loudest in this area. In the chamber, if you peek through, you see a 50-foot-tall humanoid-looking figure resembling the Cathatoon people made of shadow, with two pits of white for eyes and a jagged maw. Sprouting from their back are numerous shadowy tendrils that writhe in the air. They are chained to four pillars of crystal that seem to be surging. And a platform connects these four crystals to a set of stairs on the ground. Beneath the figure is a large blue glyph on the ground that looks like it's slowly breaking apart and keeping him imprisoned. The Faust and the Furious. It's good to meet face to face. Looks around. Oh. No one grabbed the sphere. Interesting. And he snapped his fingers and you're all pulled into the room. Oh, crap. Uh, I know I forgot something. The reunion has begun. I have become one with the weave and my ascension is at hand. Once I'm free of these restraints, the moon will collide with the wood below. And eternal night shall begin. And I will rule over the remains as your king. And he smiles as tendrils on his back begin to arc towards you all. And you can see the colors of the weave glimmering under his form. It's unfortunate. You shoot him. You weren't more cooperative. I could have helped you all achieve your ultimate potential. Initiative. Okay, and Drex is like, man. do we shoot him? <laughs> like, because I, I won. I didn't want to, like, make it worse. Oh! Oh, and yeah, I said you all got pulled in, so. Mm -hmm. DM question. <laughs> Possible answer. Perfect, thank you. How has it been a minute yet? It's probably been a minute, yeah. Great. I just wanted to know if shrouds would still be up or if that was completed. Probably got it since the last combat. Great. Thank you so much. I'll roll initiative. Cool. Oof. He is stationary. He cannot move while he is imprisoned. But the prison looks like the glyph on the ground looks like it's slowly breaking apart. All right, Dax, what'd you get for initiative? Set seventeen. Druck. Nat one. For a. For a six. Ouch. Uh, what did the Earth Elemental get? Uh, natural twenty for nineteen. Yep. Uh, Kara. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, and I got a seven. Coin. Uh, that's a thirteen. Ven. Seven. Oh Jesus. Ooh. Oh God. All right. A little uh, on our just, heels. Just, just because this is gonna matter. Uh, Justin, quick question. Um, how uh, how far down the hallway did we just go? Uh, the corridor is a hundred feet long. The room would be about a hundred. The sphere would be about one hundred and fifty feet back. Okay. Perfect. If he lets you leave the up. room now. Oh, he doesn't. I'm, I'm just, I got a plan. I've got a thing. Flitz is like, what oh. the fuck is that? Because Flitz goes first. Oh, boy. Oh. He's just like, what the fuck? Um, you got this, Flitz. I don't know what that is. Eldritch Blast. <clears throat> uh, 11. And a thirteen to hit, or fourteen to hit, or fifteen to hit, misses both. I think he's got two right now. Yep. Oh boy. Well, that's that. Flitz is like, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's gonna hide behind this crystal. <laughs> uh, lair action time. Oh boy. Of course. All right. 
Ooh, cool. Right um, in front of Druk, you see a tendril come out of the ground, and it forms into Druk's sister, with the tendril kind of spooling out of their uh, back. And it just says, You left us. You left me to them. And uh, it opens its mouth unnaturally wide and spews caustic blood in a 15-foot cone. So, I need Druk, Ven, and Dax to make um, something. Uh, con saves. Oh boy. Uh, everyone but Dax gets a plus... Uh, Venon Druk get a plus one, Dax does not. From coin. So con saves. Uh, 15, thanks to coin. 15 just succeeds. Cool. Con save. Woo! 19. Succeeds. Uh, Dax, what you get? 22. Succeeds. Uh, so you all take, instead of taking 15, you take 7 acid damage each. Anybody wearing armor? Uh, I believe That's non-magical. I am. Yes, I'm wearing non-magical armor. Okay, it takes a negative 1 penalty to the AC it offers. Okay, how much damage? Uh, it would have been 7. Okay. What would that reduce the armor's AC to? Uh, the that makes my armor class sixteen instead yeah, of like, seventeen. Yeah, what is your like what what's the what is the armor though like that you're wearing? Studded leather for twelve AC. Okay, so it's at eleven. Yeah. Once it gets to ten, it's destroyed. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that it it essentially just burned off the studs. It's sure. just regular leather armor now. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, that happens. All of them just fell so off. So drug sister, yeah. drug sister appears, <laughs> says that to drug, and then. My mouth and actually sprays caustic blood out of their mouth and then back into the floor. Gross. Calvin. Okay. Um, <coughs> I have a question. Logistics question. Sure. Because Calvin can burrow, would that make the distance shorter? Since he doesn't have to go around through the tunnel, he could go straight there. Yeah. To get the sphere. Or is it oh, still 150 it's still feet 100, there? And back? It's still 150 feet there and back. Okay. And also, to be fair, he wouldn't really understand. Oh, I know you to tell I mean, him to do. That's right. Yeah, I could tell him to just uh, grab the spare sphere and bring it back for his next few turns, and just have him double dash. Is that what you're doing? I think so. Yeah, because I'm also worried that if I get hit with something, I'm gonna drop him and he'll become hostile. So I'm gonna send. Oh him yeah, that'd be bad if he became hostile in this situation. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to send him away to grab the sphere. Okay. So that if I do drop concentration, he's not directly okay. near so us. So he's burrowing there? Yes. Okay, so... Oh, man, okay. he can just do a beeline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, that'll put him off the battle map then, for the yeah. time being. Okay. okay. Uh, and I then I send... also... Okay. I still have Mom with me. Um, oh, right. Because she, she hangs around for an hour. Okay. Um. Oh, good to know that there is an... So if, if you... If we all... If anyone drops to zero... Um, within 10 feet of mom, you have advantage on uh, death saves. Okay. Mm. It's cool that your mom's um, with this undead entity that controls undead. But yes, thank you. Yes. <clears throat> um, um, and is there anything in here that looks like the iris, or was the sphere of the iris? The golden I device know. from the city was the iris. You were long past the iris. Great. Um, the energy from the well, iris I... is in those pillars, I think. Nope. Energy from the iris is inside Shia Dan. I said oh, you saw okay. it glimmering under his form. Oh, right, right. Yeah, okay. Rowan gave it to him, hence the reunion being mm -hmm. complete. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Then, wisdom saving throw at disadvantage from Shia Dan? For what? Uh, Toll the dead. Is that necrotic damage? Mm-hmm. Immune. <sighs> Fuck. Um, so you shit. cast Toll the dead and it just doesn't affect him whatsoever. Can I still take a different action? No, because you did Toll the dead. No. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, sorry. And to spread out, I'm going to bonus action Misty Step. Oh, wait. What's, it's not your turn. That it's was, not, oh, it's not my turn. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It, that, was, well, that was Calvin's turn. Never well, mind. That's going to bring us to sh lair action. Uh, you know, that already happened. 
That's going to bring us to... At the end of Colin's turn, Shadam's going to use legendary action to use his consuming gaze. Um, it's not your turn. <clears throat> he's going to look at... Who does he not like the most out of this group? Did he see what happened in the last battle? Nah, he doesn't really oh, give a shit. God. He's going um, to look at Coin. Yeah, he's he's like it. this holy warrior and is going to look at Coin and say, Once I return, I'm going to consume your trash dragon. <gasps> and just tilts his head. And he's going to look at you. Hey, Co Coin's going to be like... Make a constitution saving throw as you feel your life force being siphoned out of you. So, wait, I'm sorry, he's going to chew, consume my trash dragon? Yeah, that's what you just said. So, constitution saving throw, please. Colin buy him a trash. As, he's be, as he begins consuming your life force. So, constitution. <laughs> oh ben says that, and all of a sudden, it clicks. <laughs> like, there's, like, just angry yeah. spittle just coming out of coins. Constitution, please. All right, uh, the con. Come on, it's not trash. The con. Call me fucking trash, fucking trash. So that's a uh, 17 plus one plus one 18 that succeeds your constitution score is not reduced just like cool angry wipes the mouth that'll bring us to Shia Dan because that was just one of his uh, thingamabobs just, an ang just angry shaking yeah. all right as an action he's gonna go into his multi attacks can he reach anybody with his multi attacks though nope so he's instead gonna exhale this negative energy, um, just and yeah, I need everybody but Flitz <laughs> to make con saves, please. Oh boy, uh, mm. this is the second con save. I had. So Druk, Kenna, mm -hmm. Ven get plus one as well as Coin. Seventeen. Uh, I'm gonna ask because there's a lot of stuff to go. Okay. Over. All right. <clears throat> So, Shia Dan is my boy. And add your plus ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're with him. All right. Uh, Ven, what'd you get? 17. 17. Plus one? That was with the plus one, yeah. Uh, you take 33 necrotic damage. <laughs> and your hit point maximum is reduced by 33. Oh, lordy. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, who was next? Coin, what'd you get? 18. Uh, succeeds. So you take half of that, but your hit point maximum is not reduced. So you take. Oh. Uh, you 16. take 16 necrotic. Uh, X HP is 23 now. Oh, what? shit, man. Uh, Kenna, what'd you get? I have 56 HP. You're a, you're a level 3. Kenna, what'd, level you, Kenna what'd you get? I, had, I got a 15. Uh, 33 necrotic damage, and your hit point max reduced by 33. But you're resistant to necrotic, I believe, because of yes, smart. I am. So sixteen. Okay. And you're so that's reduced by sixteen though, because you reduced the damage, but you failed. So you your hit okay. max reduced by sixteen. I also need a concentration check on Cletus yes. or whatever his name is. Calvin. Calvin. Calvin, and Hobbs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the DC is just ten for this concentration okay. check. Um, that is at advantage because I'm a warcaster. <laughs> nice. Um, eleven. Oh, so that, that does succeeds it. by one. Okay. <laughs> Barely made Holy it. Holy fuck! All right. I rolled a five and a uh, six. Point who else was in this? Ass. Oh, I said everybody was in this. Druk, what'd you get? <clears throat> uh, fifteen. Thirty-three necrotic damage. And your hit point max is reduced by thirty-three. Yeah, I did that. You, you had the you had the number right. Like I, I have that, everyone's my health. I have everyone's. Okay, could you help somewhere. me out with that? Because I did that and uh it set my and i yeah it does that it I does that on here screwed up so it was uh, <clears throat> my current hit points are 56 and my max is 56 which isn't correct okay so what it, what is it supposed to be give me a sec uh your hit points normally are 89 you would be at 56 yeah but my be... actual hp would be oh what were you at that, right what were you at before that's what i was trying I think to you're at 70 71 okay no, you're at you're at seventy six, so you'd be at your hit points would be at forty three. Okay. Thirteen. Thank you. Yeah, minus thirteen. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh all right. Dax. Eighteen. Succeed, so you take uh 
16 necrotic damage. I Anyone who failed that. has their hit points halved or reduced. Anyone who succeeded doesn't. Mm. Is that everybody? The ghost sort of. Oh, Estus. Shit. Oh, Long shit. live the king. Uh, constitution. Dirty 20. So, 16 damage. Okay. And, oh, oh and, and, and uh, Fitz is outside. Flitz Fitz, is Flitz, was outside Flitz was the only one outside of it because Flitz had a 21 <laughs> initiative, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Ghost, are they immune to necrotic damage? Yes. Okay, cool. Mom's fine. Um, let's see if Shidan recharges Thanks, that. Ma. Shidan does not recharge his consuming breath. Oh, good. Bringing oh. us to Dax. You just yeah, uh, dying. <laughs> um, the way this is situated mm -hmm. is like the pillar, the stone steps. Like, can you? Is it like almost like a catwalk thing going yeah, around? Yeah, that's it? a catwalk. It's about uh five, ten, fifteen, fifteen feet up. So. So he's like easily towering over it. It's like around his like waist. It's but weird. if. So you could walk under the catwalk and, like, hit his legs kind yes. of thing? Okay. But it's not going to matter because no one has the golden sphere. They can still damage him, but based on the paintings you all saw in the very first room, you can't kill him without that. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. We really should have grabbed that on our way out. Kenna's elemental That's why I was asking elemental. if anybody wanted to do anything before they left, and you all like, nope. And I, Ken... I was thinking about it before break. Let me take the break, and it just so vanished. Dex. What are you doing? What, what, so what Kenna's wanted... elemental is take is currently grabbing said globe. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, it's... assuming Kenna maintains concentration. <clears throat> back. Yeah. And they are coming back, but we can still hit him. Yes. Yeah, so what are you doing? For now, um, you know and then coins what? Coins on deck. We have two people who can cast Revivify. It's fine. Probably. Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, okay. We're gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get to there. Okay. And then I'm all out of rages. Yep. Just so yep. everyone knows. Uh, we're just gonna go another... I'm going to use my action to dash. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And we're just going to get the fuck away from the group. All right. And then we're just going to post up around there and see what the fuck happens. Okay. Coin. Uh, yeah, so where am I? Pause. No, no, I'm not muted. Okay, great. Fantastic. Uh, so you said around the hips, so mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 15, um, wait, wait, what are you, are you under, you're underneath then, right? Oh, would I, is, is that the only access is underneath? No, 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 or do it, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, oh, so there are stairs, yeah, there are you stairs. have to go to yeah. the stairs to do it? Yeah, because so. they're 15 feet up, you can't, yeah. Uh, I don't think I can make it to them without. No. Actually, I think I can whip an ankle. Okay. We're using the whip sword. You can whip up, right? Yeah, definitely. I also haven't. Like you can get onto this like thing that he's he's standing on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, like, he's not out of reach if people get in there. Yeah, but I think I can also... But the thing he is standing on is... The glyph thing is slowly breaking away. Yeah. And in the paintings you saw, the Cathetine people made that by putting spells into these crystals. <clears throat> so, that seems like it's the only way to maintain this thing if it keeps breaking, is to put spells in those crystals. And they were touching the crystals and they did it. So if you don't want his prison to break, that's what the spellcasters might have to do occasionally. What you're saying is, don't use the horn of blasting on the crystals. <laughs> Destroy the crystals and he gets out, basically. <clears throat> <laughs> and if he gets out, that's likely campaign over. So mm -hmm. this is a very uh, much a timed encounter, by the way, too. Sorry, thank you, uh, and I appreciate your patience. Um, uh, is it a perception check to notice 
any markings on the crystals. Uh, perception checks are also using your action as well. Yeah, there's, I, I'm asked. There's so no I'm markings asking. on the crystals, though. Okay, then I probably... Yeah, if there's no markings, then I wouldn't notice a certain school that I could cast mm -hmm. into it. That was, nope. so that's and a different you have to do it at the top of the crystals, like as in the painting, so you actually have to get up on this platform to do it. Oh, all right. Yep, yeah, you can't just stay on the ground and go boop, 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 boop. Uh, I guess, oh, damn. Uh, I guess I'm, you know, uh, I guess I'm underneath the scaffolding. One, two, three, yeah. four. As five. you step onto the glyph, you can feel it's very electric, magically charged right now because it's breaking apart and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Just letting you know. Oof. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, a, I'm doing trapeze without a net right now because <clears throat> I have heavy ass armor on. Oof a doof. So All right. Do, yep. Do? I'm going to make a regular attack because I do not have advantage because no one's close. Right, make an attack roll. <clears throat> Boom. Need that nat 20, baby. 14 will do. 26. That hits. Ha! Come get a taste, and that is... To start, 13 damage, and that is a level 2 smite. This is okay. not an undead. Nope. So that is, I think, just two dice at a level two. Yep. Two D8s. Two D8s. And as you hit him with the smite, it appears like he's resistant to radiant damage. Gross. Created. He's created, created from by the, yeah. the god of light, dawn and life. <laughs> Excuse me? All right, so that's uh, that was 11, so that's mm -hmm. five then if he's resistant. So yep. total of 18 damage. Sounds good. That's your first attack. Yep. And then my second attack will be mm -hmm. this one. Uh, nat 20. Okay. Nope. That is going to be a 22. That hits. That damage. That is 12 damage. Okay. What a fool I was for not casting different spells to add damage to it, but that is I guess I did one re wait, a regular smite is 2d8 or just 1d8? 2d8. Okay, well then I used one <clears throat> regular smite on that first one and then mm -hmm. no smite on the second one because apparently this fool is resistant. Yep. I should use my other spells. Alright, cool. I, wait, how, um, I know we said this thing is pretty big he's like 60 feet he's about 50 feet tall yeah 50 feet thank you can't so then i can't use my shield to bash and no nope. cripple him nope man what a bad feat to take when you're a tiny person <laughs> yep <laughs> well small yeah <clears throat> need you can affect medium people with it uh how many medium people anything have we even encountered anything else all right uh, that's all. I, that's all I got. Uh, legendary uh, action. He's gonna pull. Oh, actually, how close is Dax? Too far away. Uh, legendary action. He's gonna pull back one of his long, shadowy arms and just punch down on you with it. <clears throat> Great. Because he's a big boy. He got reach. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Twenty-eight to hit. It's not a ranged attack, is it? No, it's melee. <laughs> yeah, he's no, a big boy. Yeah, it's uh, oh, nine bludgeoning damage. That's poop. And six force damage. Just poof. Fifteen total. Yep. That's... Oh, man. That'll bring us to Estes, who's like, what the fuck is going on with everything here? And he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and try to, like, he's like, okay, I don't want to get anywhere within the weird cone thing that he just did. So, Warhammer attack. Two of them, two-handed. 18 to hit, which just hits. Or no. Never mind. Ignore what I said. Hits. Which for 14 magical bludgeoning damage. And then natural one on the second. So, he's going to second wind... Because when he second wins, oh, when he second wins, he gets some cool stuff that goes on. All right. 
Okay. As he he does this like rally, he just he's, he's gonna use his real, rallying cry when he second wins. He just goes, "Let's fucking kill this thing," and <clears throat> up to three allies within sixty feet gain ten hit points. So Druk, you get ten hit points. Woo! Dax, you get ten hit points. Ven, you get ten hit points. Hey, I'm at max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 23 hit points uh, that's going to bring us to Kenna, Kenna Ven you're on deck okay Okay. <clears throat> can I see this um, section of the catwalk yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. cool <clears throat> I'm going to misty step up there sounds good um, so you... um, as, an a as a bonus action and then for uh, movement gonna run all the way to the opposite corner mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to throw could I <laughs> infer that these crystals want spells and cantrips yes. wouldn't be enough uh, I actually have written in my notes let me double check uh, cantrip or higher works <clears throat> okay sweet um, I'm going to throw a um, produce flame into the crystal okay uh, you do that. It appears like the sigil hasn't been damaged enough to restore it in any way, but sure. Just a little, uh, just a little test out because it's a cantrip. Yeah, but the spell doesn't launch out of you. The, the the crystal pillar absorbs it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and I'll just uh, stand oh, wait. by here. Actually, I forgot the roll for this because initiative ten just passed. Sorry, oh, shit. I forgot. To... Never mind. Yeah. You will heal it. Okay. Um, oh sweet. Cool. Uh, so. Um, who's all standing on it? Coin and Estes. Coin and Estes. This, the sigil as is breaking apart. Uh, mm -hmm. It like surges with magic, and both of y'all take one lightning damage. So, uh, Kenna, roll five d six. This thing only took one damage, but roll five d six to see how much you restore it by. Four. Cantrip gives back five d six. Holy shit. Nice. 1D6, it's not a lot. 1d6 um, hit point per for a spell cast beyond a cantrip. So first level 66, second level oh. 76. It does nice. use a spell slot, um, though, when you do this. <clears throat> that's well, why I used cantrip. a cantrip. Yep. Um. I should probably ask. Yep. What if you can cast it at will through a magic item? It has to be a spell item. slot. Okay, thank you. Or a cantrip. Can't be magic items. <laughs> okay. I was just like, hey, let's just get this cloak yeah, to work. No. <laughs> that is 11. Okay, really. yeah, it took one damage, so it's it's restored yeah. back to full. All right. Cool. Uh, so, that was your, so, yeah, that's your action, bonus action to Misty Step. Uh, and I used my movement to get to the crystal. All right, Ven, Druk on deck. Okay, good <clears throat> question. Yep. The tunnel behind me back towards the Golden Sphere. 150 feet. Is it a straight shot? Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Curves. As you can see on um, the map. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, I okay. I couldn't tell if it was like straight yeah, diagonal it's, that way. It curves. How much does it curve by? <laughs> Pretty significantly. You can't see. Sorry. It's a lot. Okay. Um. All right. Cause let me just check a wording. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um. How far down the top, like, how much of that 150 feet can I see before it, like, goes out of line of sight? <coughs> like, halfway, or? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, it's just until it gets... Yeah, edge of the map. 30 feet. Oh, okay. oh so, like, from there it turns again? Yep. <coughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and leave the room. You leave the room. Okay, so I can? He doesn't stop yeah. me? Oh. Okay. So if I go... At least not yet. 5, 10, <clears throat> or... 5, 10, 15, 20, I just go straight diagonal. Just 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? Like here to the edge of the map. Yep. How far down the tunnel can I see from there? 30 feet before it curves again. Okay. You're the one that's got easier your shot of this because it just goes... Right. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Because I was going to... Because I was going to use Bigby's hand because I can summon that 120 feet, mm -hmm. but I have to be able to see it if I yep. do that. So, okay. Otherwise, I'd be able to grab it right now. Um, okay, because what's the Earth Elemental's move speed? 30 feet. Uh, 30. And oh, it's okay. double dashing until it gets the crystal. Gotcha, okay, okay. 
Um, well, in that case, uh, then is that was that a wall that I like passed through, or like an archway? Uh, a wall, or a, it's like a little a cave entrance almost. Okay, so I can still see like him from here, right? Nope, because it's the end, edge of it is. Right oh, here. I see it now. I see it now. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, okay. I don't have to be able to see. Okay. No. Uh, okay. No, I had to move there to see that it curved again. So. Um. Uh. Then I'm gonna. I guess. Oh, uh, who's okay? Who's looking bad for health? Or I can think I can only see Druck. Uh, Druck is you can fine. Barely got, see Druck. No, I'm about forty no. down. Can't see Coin. Yeah, I can't see you though. The only here, person I can see is uh, Druck. Yeah, because <clears throat> I made the mistake of coming back this direction. Okay. Uh, if I move back, uh, you didn't get the breath back, but. Uh, and coin is there. Yeah, okay, I think it's just gonna be worth it to just all move back. Okay. And then I will cast a mass healing word. So I can heal up to six creatures. Okay. So that is, I'm at full, so just everybody is gonna get, and let me double check my... Where is it? Probably everybody except me, because we do have more than six people. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's everyone but but me and you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Flitz is at full. Flitz is fine. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyone. So anyone who's down hit points mm -hmm. uh, is fine. gonna get four plus six. Right, yeah, yeah. Four plus six is ten. Plus my domain feature is plus another three, so thirteen hit points back. Okay, cool. thank you. Mm -hmm. good. Anything else? Good. Good. I, good. Am, I am nope. up at max. That right. was action bonus action. Druck. <laughs> oh god. He just conjured, um, your, he conjured your sister, and then your turn. What I, is she still there? No, he, she went back into the floor after that was done. Ugh. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll kind of just look at this thing and be like, consume, right? Yes. All right, he's going to move to here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to do the. Does this guy have a mouth? Yeah, it's like a jagged like a maw. Just, maw. It's just a jagged maw of shadow. No okay. teeth or anything. Okay. Uh, he's going to move here um, and just do a. He's just going to do a uh, Crimson Arc crossbow. Go for it. Um, yeah, he's just going to do a shot on that. Um, yeah. That's a dirty 20. Uh, that hits. Okay. Uh, and uh, since our buddy is within five feet of him. Sneak attack? Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So that is. Ooh, that's a good roll. Um, that is thirty-four piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And Whew, max twelve uh, electrical. Or lightning lightning sounds good. Anything else? Uh. Uh, no. Thirty-four cool. plus twelve. That's uh, uh, all right. Uh, that's pretty good for me. You gonna use um, a legendary action then? Okay. As you see, he's kind of running on top of here, controlling crystals, and he has enough reach because he's looking down, and he's just gonna go <laughs> into Kenna. <clears throat> For a twenty-eight to hit. Oh, that just misses. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's max. No, it's almost max. Um, eighteen bludgeoning damage. Oh. And six force damage on top of that, so that's twenty-four damage total. Mm-hmm. So concentration check DC twelve. <clears throat> At advantage. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Oh, it's so hard to talk. <clears throat> okay. 
18 plus 4, 22. You're good. I'm good. You still take the damage, though? And that's yeah. Flitz. Flitz is, like, still confused as to what the fuck's going on. <laughs> um... Oh, Lex, don't hate me. Misty step, seeing what Ken is doing. I'm gonna th th up there and help out. Uh, bonus action to Misty step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the sigil isn't damaged, so he's gonna hold an action to cast a cantrip into the pillar once the thing takes damage. Cool. All right. Um, cool. You all watch the piece of floating, not floating debris, but like a piece of the debris on the ceiling uh, unlatches, it like disconnects from the wall, and is hurtled towards Druk. <clears throat> um, did we... I'm hoping I didn't just uh, dumb brain it through the description. But was it said that uh, this guy essentially isn't taking any damage until... No, he's taking damage. He just can't be killed oh, okay. without the sphere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, We're just chipping so yeah. away until we can get Lair the Lair action! He's going to dislodge a piece of the ceiling and throw it at Druk. <clears throat> ah! 4, 8, ooh, 19 plus 7. 26. Oh, that hits. Okay, so this piece of the ceiling just poof, slams into Druk. This is an attack roll, so you can have it if you need to. Uh, mm -hmm. 26 mm -hmm. bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, okay. use their... Okay, so 13 then. Okay. Just poof. All right. That's going to bring us to Calvin. All right, Calvin moves another sixty feet. Action so, and uh, movement. Okay, so, so he's one hundred twenty feet out. Of, so he's thirty feet away from the sphere. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sweet. Cool. Sheadan. Cool. Oh yeah, there's people surrounding him now. He's gonna have some fun. Uh, multi attack. He's gonna go shadowy slam into Kenna with the first one. Oh god. 29 to hit. Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Plus 7 force damage. <clears throat> so, concentration check on Calvin, please. Okay. I think the DC's, the DC's, like, I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, it was 20 total for, so, so the 10. DC's 10. Yep. <laughs> okay. Natural 16. Cool. <clears throat> Other shadowy slam is going to go down on Estes. Uh, 22 to hit. <clears throat> oh, 9 plus 9 plus 6. Matt, what's math? 24. Hell yeah. 24 bludgeoning damage to Estes. I have a brain cell sometimes. And Estes is at 104 of 133, plus another 7. Estes is at 97 of 133. And then Consuming Gaze. Gonna go right for coin again. <clears throat> ah, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Join your fisherman father. Constitution saving throw, Ben. <clears throat> I'm gonna die. <laughs> hey, no, you have oh, death ward. Oh, I do. This is different. Oh, huh. boy. Uh, I'm not within 10 feet of coin. Nope. Nine. Your constitution score is lowered by one. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. oh, good. It was an odd number. Hey. So it's not going to make a difference at all. It's not going to reduce yep. anything? Okay. Yep, yep. Cool. And then bonus action. The tendrils on his back flare. And one of them, at the end of the tendril, it forms into the visage of Yodelin. Just on the back of this tendril laying there. 
coin. Wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> saving throw, got you. Wisdom saving throw, here we go. Whoa. That is a 16. That all fails. Uh, all of your attacks against him have disadvantage. Uh, all of your saving throws, while you can see them, are also at disadvantage. You can repeat the save at the end of your turn, each of your turns. So attacks, your attacks against him, disadvantage, while that thing is up, and uh, all your saving throws, while you can, uh, all your saving throws, while you can see him, yeah, while you can see him, all your attacks and saving throws are at disadvantage. So that was the start of my turn. At the end of your turn, you can do that. <clears throat> no, but but what just happened? Was no, that was the his. Start. That was his bonus action. It's not your turn oh, yet. Okay. But yeah. That's what's happening to you right now. All right. Cool. Dax. Hi. Um. You know what? Fuck it. <coughs> Five, ten, oh, fifteen, like twenty. Dax is just. She just kind of says like, on her breath, just like. Be with me, mother. And she takes that long sword and she just fucking tries to dig into this bitch. No damage. I know. I kind of figured. Yeah. Nothing. Just. <laughs> I had to figure. But she's just like hacking away. Like, you just, know what I he mean? He just like, laughs. Axe, like... come here. And just laughs. <laughs> Your mother tastes like shit. And you can see, like, a, her face kind of partially appear on his body. <clears throat> Bestie! Hmm. The heart, my soul! What are you doing? That, your attacks aren't gonna hurt him unless you have a magic uh, weapon. Da, da, I die, uh, wait a fucking minute. I have the tentacle rod. Okay, that's magical, yeah. I'm sorry, the rod doesn't appear in my inventory but as a weapon. You already made an attack with a sword, so you can't use the rod. Okay, fair. Because the rod is a separate thing yeah. to use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just go and chill, they're really pissed off. Okay. End of his turn, he's just going to punch you in the face. Shadowy slam. <clears throat> no, bitch. Actually, no. He's gonna look at you and says, "Let's see if your soul tastes better." And you feel your life force being siphoned away. Constitution saving throw. Nineteen. Your constitution score is not lowered by four. <clears throat> that would hurt. Cool. That first one was thirty-three. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Coin. Uh, coin is not going to attack this turn. No, I'm going to run over to Dax. So I think I can make it. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I can make it. Attack. Oh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Yep. I'm within. Yep. Uh, coin just running over. <laughs> mm hmm. Ah! The tender that has Yardlin on it. Like shifts through his body to make sure it's always looking at you. Just uh, honestly, then Coin would think back to his training uh, of that and think of the obstacle course and her constant judgment of his terrible obstacle skills that only got better. And she and, like, repeats it. She says it. Just, just dodging, going through, like just sweating. Okay. <clears throat> getting, getting to. All the meanwhile, uh, Yarlin is mocking you so which she never did so it's out of character but like the judging <laughs> eyes help <clears throat> does a somersault forward grabs that sword and pff, runs magic weapon through okay uh dax's sword sounds good it says caught him caught him in the eyes anything else coin uh yeah uh so that is uh Magic weapon. Which would be your action, I believe. It would be, yeah, I did my movement and then my oh. action. Recharges his breath weapon thing that he has. Forgot to roll for it. 
I got you, Caleb. Midskin boo, baby. Uh, and then uh, uh, oh, <coughs> I. It is the end of my turn, and I'm gonna try and get yep. that Wisdom nasty save. whatever you had on me off. Yep. <coughs> Uh, what's that <coughs> roll I need to make? Wisdom save. Wisdom save, okay. How does a 24 take? Uh, the tendril, the visage of uh, Yardland disappears on the tendril. <coughs> I've already seen the true Yardland today, thank you. Nice. Anything else? Oh, that's in your turn. Estes! Oh god. Two attacks. <clears throat> if I die on stream, at least you guys win, right? Um, no, don't be a hero. <laughs> Drink water. Uh, I'm don't trying. Be a hero. All right, so that's uh, uh, ten damage. Huzzah! Oh, I should have did it like that. Miss. Uh, and that. <coughs> this is awful. All right. Justin, if you need to take a cough oh, break, do we're it. <clears throat> we're solid. Kenna, it's your turn. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot to do this again. All right. The sigil flares out again. And Estes, Coin, and Dax take 10 lightning damage. Oh. And so does the sigil. Oh, God. Just, so we'll just, have to heal that again. Just to clarify, it's the sigil that's taking damage, and it's and we can heal it through any of the crystals. We don't mm -hmm. have to heal each crystal. Mm -hmm. Great, okay. wonderful. But if the crystals get damaged, yeah, yeah. But it's your turn. If we damage, but now it's kind of right? cool. as that lightning. It's my save. turn. So yeah, Dax, Coin, um, and S just took ten lightning damage each. Okay. I'm going to put a Toll the Dead into the crystal next to me. Okay. Uh, 5d6. 5d6. Does it have to be a damaging cantrip? or does nope. it? any can spell. It be... Any magical ability. Nope. Okay. Spells. Anything that uses a cantrip or anything that uses a spell slot. Okay. 5d6 as my action. Um, that is 7, 10... Okay. Twelve. Fully, 13. fully healed. <clears throat> um, and then bonus action. Go, Kenna. Saving the day. Bonus like, action. I'm going to uh, breathe fire on this motherfucker. Oh, okay. nice. uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh, is it restrained? <laughs> he's not technically restrained. Uh, uh, that's a five. That's a fail. So he takes 46 fire damage. Um, seven. Uh, that is 10 fire damage. Nice. And I have... Uh, He's looking great still. <clears throat> yeah. I have two charges left on this current dose. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's your uh, turn, basically. No. Okay. Yeah, that is my turn. Uh, He's going to shadow slam you. Just... <laughs> Legendary <gasps> action. Uh, bastard. That's a natural eight, so a nineteen to hit. That still hits me, Justin. I, I don't have good armor class. Mm -hmm. you no, know, and you're up here, fucking with him. So, yeah. Uh, fourteen plus six, twenty-two bludgeoning damage. Fuck. Twenty-two bludgeoning. Yep, and one force damage. I am unconscious. Exactly takes me to zero. All right. Oh. Boom. Oh no, the elemental loses the concentration and then yeah. the elemental right next to the sphere. Underground. You know, he doesn't know there's a, anyway, yeah. So the elemental's basically out of combat. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna come back and be like poof, poof, poof. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. <clears throat> He's just where the fuck oh boy, I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Cool. Which is why I sent him that way in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Ven, you see Kenna poof, but now you can't see Kenna because of the angle of the cat because it's a catwalk. Okay, all right. Because I'm the closest to be able to go get the thing. 
at this point. Nope, Druk, uh, Druk is probably the best Druk's thing. Also, Druk's He's got fa- 40 Druk's foot fastest, move speed. Yeah. I have a 40 foot spl- fly speed with the with the cape. Oh, and it is dim well, light. Whatever everyone okay. wants to do. But oh, but you can you can dash as a bonus action. Can't you? I will say I in the dash room as a bonus so, action and an action. In this room here, oh, okay. In this room here, it's like where he is. I don't know why I'm pointing on my monitor. You guys can't see. Yeah. Uh, in the room where he is, that's not dim light because the glyph is like lighting the room up and all the. Oh, okay. But the tunnel is the tunnel is darkness. Oh, okay. <clears throat> cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, good to know. So I can't fly in here. I was about that was, I was planning on yeah. flying a bit. Uh, okay. In that case, it's just um, it's normal light in this room. Yep. All right, sixty feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and yeah, I flipped Hilda's action to heal the crystal, but kind of got to it before he did. So, <clears throat> uh, okay, um, I'm gonna, for the purposes of getting Kenna back on their feet, I'm gonna give it another mass healing word. Do you have to be able to see the people to do that or no? Uh good question. Double check. Uh, All you can see within range. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. How? Because are are there like sides on the catwalk? Yeah, there's stairs. No, I mean like the catwalk themselves. Is there yeah, like there's a, like, like there's a... railings. Yeah. Okay, and they're like solid. It's not just like poles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Cause Cause I... just fall off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because okay, then if I'm gonna be able to, the only way I can see Kenna is if you got up there, basically. Yeah, I'd have to get up there, and I can't make it this turn. Oh wait, wait, mass oh wait, mass healing word is a bonus action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm putting myself real at risk here, but mm-hmm. uh so I gotta get to I think can I see Kenna from You'd be able there? to see Kenna from there, yeah. Okay. Uh that is exactly <clears throat> sixty feet, so I just hoof it over there, sprint so up the you're stairs. Like, you're basically like this at the top. No, you'd be more like this. Uh, and he mm-hmm. can, you can, he can definitely just see you. So you, he, yeah, and you are within his reach. Great. Do I have cover at least? Uh, I'd say like three quarters or whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Because you're, uh, like, you're basically and, like this, right? Yeah. And Kenna technically has three quarters. I think three quarters is better than a half, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Kenna's got three uh, cover too right now because they fell prone inside the catwalk. Got it. That'll be another mass healing word. Okay. To basically everybody who is who has damage taken to them. Okay, so that's going to be Estes, two less than that. Kenna. So two plus six is eight plus another three. Uh, eleven hit points back to everybody. Cool. Kenna, you're conscious with eleven hit points. Woo! And that is my turn. Go, Druck. Go. All right, Druck. Yeah, I'm going to use all uh, eighty. Hundred and twenty. Oh right, because you're my move speed. Okay, mm-hmm. so Man. so you're thirty feet away. You, you're thirty place. feet away from the sphere in the center of the room. Okay. So you're. I'm gonna just hide your token for the time being. Yep. There, and that's your all your stuff, right? That's everything except my reaction. Cool. But who knows what's gonna happen with that? All right. Mm-hmm. Flitz is like just two Eldritch blasts because. I mean, it's healed. Nope. Yeah, one hits. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve force damage to Shia Dan. Cool. Lair action time. Druck. <clears throat> oh, hold on. <laughs> the moon is considered his lair. Oh, boy. But, yeah, yeah. But he's more concerned about the people in here right now. Cool. Ven. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Uh, a tendril appears uh, directly behind Dax. <clears throat> no, beside Dax. And it pops out around, and it forms into the visage of your mother. And it just says, you were always a disappointment. I wish we never had you some days. And yeah, she is a dick and it's fun. Right in her heart. Um and it expels caustic blood out of her mouth in a fifteen foot cone. I need you 
and coin to make constitution saving throws. Plus one for each Nine. of you, by the way. Twenty. Twenty. Nine for coin. Nine. Uh, coin, your shield is safe, but the armor you're wearing takes a negative one penalty to the AC it offers. So your AC goes down by one. Okay. And that's permanent. Okay. All right. And six. Coin, you take 14 acid damage. Dax, you take seven. Cool beans. Okay, another tendril. Into the floor. Calvin. Oh. <laughs> Calvin's just drunk. As you're like getting in the room, you see Calvin just in the room looking around. Yep, forgot about that. <laughs> so Calvin's just there, and Calvin just goes and just glides towards Druk. <clears throat> Oh boy. Actually, do they have tremor sense? Can you check for me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, then, no, then it glides right towards Druk. Yeah. And there's makes, no hiding. And makes two. Uh, Druk, you just see this thing pop out of the ground and go boom, boom. Two hits. Okay. Uh, okay. fourteen for the first one. Does not hit. And. Fifteen for the second. Does not hit. Just you have one job. Uh, <laughs> does not have this. Oh, he got to the same distance as you would have been at, so he's actually like out of the ground. Uh, yeah. Where you are, so just. Okay, cool. Shia Dan. Got his... uh, that, that was that thing's turn. That was Wait, Calvin's turn. That was Calvin's turn. Yeah. Great. I'm going to use my reaction. To go a little bit closer to the, <laughs> to get twenty feet closer. Okay, so to you're the ten thing. feet away from the sphere. Nice. nice. <laughs> right, I have was... a ten foot reach. So, Can I grab it? it? Uh, <laughs> you go to grab it, your and your hand goes right through it. It says it said it was similar to a sphere of annihilation, but gold. Your hand just passes through it, but because you came in contact with it, you have greater restoration cast upon you, so your maximum HP is uh, put back to normal. Oh. Oh, so. But oh, you, you have can't, to think about it. You you have to think to to pick this thing up and move it. Oh fuck. So it, oh, no. so it should have been Ven that That's came. It's not a drug thing. Uh, so your hit oh, point. Oh boy. Yeah. So the wrong person may have come to do this. I guess I I I, I was trying to explain this, but it wasn't usual details. Uh, so your your maximum HP to go back to normal at like eighty nine. We're stressed. We're not thinking. But your hit points, your hit your, like your health doesn't go back to eighty nine. Just your max HP goes back right. to eighty nine. Uh, okay. Let me. You know what? Let me double so check. Fifty-four is my current. I think I can get it. Nope. Uh, fifty-four was my HP though, so I'll lower it back to fifty-four. I for, actually forget what this sphere does. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, you also heal seventy hit points. Oh, oh. shit. So you. Okay, so I'm back at full. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Maybe we should just all retreat. <clears throat> <laughs> you guys don't know. You don't know what's happening. You don't know that drop can't grab it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to bring us to Shia Dan. He's going to... He got his breath weapon back, so he's going to turn towards yeah. Dax, Coin, and Estes, and he's just going to... And I need... Dax, Coin, and Estes. Con saves, please. Like, what, the fifth or sixth con save I've done this fight? This is what he does. And we get a plus one from coin? Yep. 27. You're fine. So you take 14 necrotic damage. This is a natural 20. So for 25 total. 14 necrotic damage. Okay. No hit point reduction. Estes also takes 14 necrotic damage. No one gets their HP reduced by it. You know. All right. And he doesn't recharge it. Dax, you have a magic. Oh, uh, coin. Concentration check on magic weapon. DC 10. Uh, Con save, DC 10. Ain't gonna happen. Magic weapon. Dax, as your turn begins, magic weapon goes away. Boo. Ha! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> this 
this is literally the worst time to not have fucking well, green. I mean, but back oh. to plan A though, right? Tentacle. I rod? got my tentacle rod. Yeah. <laughs> but I keep forgetting it exists because it doesn't show up as a oh, yeah. weapon in my inventory. Well, you need to. I'm gonna then. hit it. Yeah, takes it out. Okay, three attacks plus nine to hit. Okay, the first one is a nineteen plus nine, which is a twenty-eight. 28 hits. Yay! That's six. Okay. Sorry. What is it considered? It's just uh, it's it's a magic weapon. It's just six blood, damage. Six, six damage. Yeah. Uh, for the second one. Mm-mm. Misses. <laughs> yep. And for the third one... 27. That hits. But not all three, unfortunately. I know. Hey, Justin, we can... three damage. Even if we, even if we can move the sphere, we can only move it, like, 30 feet at a time, right? Uh, I think it's, like, five times your intelligence modifier or something. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else, Dex? Oh, uh, I can't do shit. Cool. <laughs> End of your turn. He's gonna use a legendary action and punch Ven, but Ven has three quarters cover. Oh boy. Uh, no, fifteen. That doesn't hit because I have cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> All right. Uh, that'll be coin. No. Nope. What does three quarters cover do? Is that a plus two to AC? Plus five. Plus five. Coin, it's your turn. And, dex pl and yep. plus five to dex saves. What's your what's your health at? Uh... You're you're good right now, Dax. <laughs> On a scale of 107, I'm sitting at about a 76. Yeah, you're probably good. I'm fine. Okay, yeah, I, I guess I'll just uh, uh, just attack, and I'm back to regular attacks. And since okay. Dax is there, that's an advantage attack. Yep. <laughs> Drunk has to fight. Oh no! Yeah, All right, it's so a 31. <laughs> that hits. In. You poor That's boy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna attack again. Okay. <clears throat> the twenty hit. That hits. Yep. It's a flirty twenty. Thirteen, and then fourteen. It's total twenty-seven damage. Sounds for that turn. good. Any bonus actions you want to do? Like hunter's mark or anything? No. Okay. Because no, I was concentrating on something else and got really boned over, so no okay. thanks. Rather not just pour unused spell slots into this guy. All right. Uh, legendary action. He's gonna do a shadow slam attack on Kenna. Okay. Advantage, but you have three quarters cover. Actually, no. He's gonna go for Ven again. Oh boy. <laughs> nope. Whoa! All right. Uh, Estus is just going to make uh, two attacks. 15 misses, 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, 21, uh, 15. All right. Kenna. Okay. Um... I'm gonna give Ven a nod of thanks. Mm -hmm. um, bonus action. I'm gonna poke my head out, do another fire breath. Dexterity saving throw, please. Yep. Dexterity, you said? Yes. DC 13. Uh, 12 plus 3. Okay, so he takes half. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty 
pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, 10, 17, have to 8, fire damage? Or 9? 9. 9. Uh, um, why do I keep putting these away? I need these. Um, that's, that's decent. Um, and then I'm going to cast Wither and Bloom here so that Ven and I can both benefit from the healing properties. Um, I'm at okay. full health. Oh, you're at full? Then, uh, I All mean, I need free. it. I need it, so. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do that um, at third level. Because I'm out of second level spell slots. Um, I, and am, I will be taking control of coin now. Okay. Um, what is it? <clears throat> uh, oh, sorry, one thing. Uh, oh, right, I forgot. I keep forgetting on initiative count 10, it takes damage. Um, all right, so that would be Estes, Dax, and Coin, three lightning damage. Okay. Which means this thing also takes the damage. <clears throat> so, Kenna, yeah, what are you doing? Um trying to figure out how many hit dice I can roll from Wither and Bloom. Um, okay. So I can roll two hit dice plus my spell casting modifier? Yes. Are you still prone? Uh, I am still prone. Okay. Yeah. Three quarters cover. Just... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what do I... Uh, and then Ven and Druk will be on deck. Yeah. Ven, then Druk. Uh, 2d8 plus... <laughs> Um, plus six. All right, that's eleven plus six is seventeen. All uh, right. Wait, you cast Wither and Bloom, so he doesn't need to make a save. Uh, he does, but it's necrotic damage for him. Oh, okay, yeah, so no damage. Um, mm-hmm. I was just using it for the healing aspect for myself. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's my action, bonus action. Oh. Uh, wisdom save for my Canthadium crystal. Okay. Yeah, Caleb, if you need to bounce, you can... I got coin. Um, wisdom save, you said, right? Yes. 17, DC. Uh, he's going to use his le- first legendary resistance to succeed. Alright. Alright, fair. That is my... Uh... Yeah, and I'm just going to stay at three quarters cover. Okay. Vin. Alright, uh, so far it seems like we're just doing the fighting. As far as I know, Druk is uh, coming back with that thing. So, I'm gonna do a couple of things while I've just got my eyes like this. Um, I'm gonna use my second sorcery point to do a subtle spell on this, just in case he mm-hmm. can counter spell. It doesn't seem like he can, but just in case. Uh, and I'm going to apply, uh, I, mean, I haven't actually used this before, but my Channel Arcana, Divine Arcana, mm-hmm. plus two bonus to any attack rolls made for a, or the next spell you cast gains a plus two bonus to any attack roll you make for it. It's, the spell has a duration, I believe that would mean that I get plus two to all attack rolls for it. Sure. For the duration. Uh, and I am finally going to get to cast Bigby's Hand, and it's just going to come oh, out of the oh. air and just punch him in the face. Okay. <clears throat> roll the attack. I think roll. I have. Do I have one of those? I don't. So this is Bigby's hand. Okay. All right. I gonna... <laughs> roll to hit. There's a plus thirteen to hit. Mhm. That is a twenty-nine to hit. That hits. Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. Or... Caleb, Caleb, are you going to... Wait, wait, what's going on? Am I next? Uh, no, I just... I thought you were... Uh, you had to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm right on... The, I'm on the edge. Okay. <laughs> you, you're... 18 point... Oh. You're not anytime soon. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting towards the end of the, uh... Initiative. I'll probably... Okay. Good night, Mm-hmm. Bye, Caleb. Big hand. Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Eighteen points of force damage to the face. Okay. Anything else? Uh, oh yeah. Um, so I'm standing on the steps. I'm here, right? Yeah. 
So if I just like go prone, am Full I in cover. total cover? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna <clears throat> drop. <laughs> cool. So he can't see me. All right. No. <laughs> Druk, Earth Elemental, you and you're sitting in front of the sphere. The Earth Elemental's, I think, like we said, it's like 20 feet behind you. Druk's gonna shout, "Van, you are needed." It would echo. Okay. Uh, you can attempt to try to move it if you want as an action. Ah, uh, you would not be. Able you to said uh, you, could, you said at, I could only move it by one times the, my uh, or five times five my times intelligence, intelligence score. Yeah. I have a negative one. Oh, then there's no so way. You, I couldn't no even move could, it at all. There's no way you can see it on the check. Mm -hmm. then. Okay. okay. It did heal you though. Fixed you up though. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna use everything to get it, back to the fight. The, you can see the Earth Elemental like. What? There's the Earth Elemental still in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just fleeing the Earth Elemental. What did I see it do though? Uh. It's hostile, so it's coming to beat your shit up. Oh, right. I better get rid of this thing before yeah, Ven if gets you, here. If you, also, um, you get a sense it would probably follow you into the fight if you went to rejoin it, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm going to do? Just in case Ven didn't hear me, horn of blasting right in this thing's face. <laughs> Sounds cool. I got the stat block pulled up, and I am in control of it now. Horn of Blasting. I, am, I think there's a chance that it, the captain now. I think there's a chance it explodes when you use it. Oh yeah, uh, there's a twenty percent chance okay. it explodes so, right in my you face. You all also hear because it's six, audible six hundred feet away. You hear uh, a, this crack of thunder just <laughs> emits a thunderous blast. Uh, it makes make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Does it make it at oh, disadvantage? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's vulnerable to thunder damage, as you see when this happens. <clears throat> so, uh, disadvantage. Why would it make it a disadvantage? I get it says glass or crystal have disadvantage. Not stone. So that's yeah. oh, okay. Uh, the thunder damage. Here we go. What was um, the save? Sorry. Uh, it's DC uh fifteen. Got so a fourteen, so it fails by one. Nine plus Excellent. five. Uh, so that is ten D six thunder damage. Oh no, wait. Sorry, wait. no. Five, it's technically 10d6 thunder damage because it's vulnerable. Oh. So roll, oh, okay. So roll 5d6 and then multiply it. Okay. And it's deafened. Uh, uh, 30 uh, damage total okay. after doubling. And so it's 15. It's deafened, and I need you to roll percentile dice. <clears throat> yep, to see if it explodes Blows in my up face. It deals 10d6 fire damage if it does. It explodes in my face. So you take 10d6 oh, fire damage. There is no save and for that. And the horn of blasting is dead. <laughs> oh, boy. Use it once. <laughs> uh, this fight has gone drug. so wrong drug. so quickly. You take 30, so you said... 35 fire damage. Wait, why there's do no, I there's, take... Because... There's, the explosion deals 10d6 fire damage to the blower and destroys the horn. Oh, it's fire damage? Yeah. Okay. So you take 36 fire damage. Okay, cool. I'm resistant to fire damage. Okay, so you take half of that. You take uh, you take 18. Okay. So just, and then you all hear all, you the tunnel here, as the horn explodes. <laughs> and you're needed. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, anything else, Druk? Yeah, I'm going to use my movement to, like, fucking wiggle my way out of there. <laughs> okay. Um, 40 feet of movement. Are you running along the wall or the ceiling so that Earth Elemental can't get an attack of opportunity on you? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I'll use my bonus action to dash. Okay, so... For 80 feet. 80 feet, okay. Flits. Just, it's like... Confused. More Eldritch Blast because I don't know what to do. Uh, 18 hits. 14 plus 9 hits. Yeah. 13 force. 26 force total. Alright. Lair action time. Oh boy. <laughs> I forgot. I haven't done this one yet. <clears throat> uh, Ven... Kenna, Bigby's hand. Uh, you all watch as a sphere, a thirty-foot radius sphere of magical darkness just appears. Just. Oh boy. 
So 30 foot radius sphere of magical darkness would be like. I don't fucking. 30 foot radius. I don't care. <clears throat> it's that big. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to measure anything out. So. <laughs> that's going to bring us to Calvin. <laughs> Who's going to just. <laughs> up the wall. Uh, and movement dash 60 feet, so it's 20 feet behind Druk. So, Druk, you're running along, and you can see the Earth Elemental chasing you. Cool. Shia Dan. Cannot see the people in the darkness. That was stupid. Is gonna Shadow Slam. Multi attack. Two attacks on Dax. Natural one. Uh, 25 to hit on the second. Yeah, how that hits. Just. Uh, 17 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Three force. Mm. And then it's going to look at you and do its consuming gaze. So I need a constitution saving throw. Plus one. Fourteen. Oh, siphons so out some of your life force. Your constitution score is yeah. reduced by two. <clears throat> My max HP is now 105. Okay. All right, that's gonna bring us to Dax. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say my Constitution is down by two, or my max hit points? Your Constitution score is reduced by two. Oh, that hurt a lot more. Yeah. Consuming oh. gaze lowers your Constitution score. Fuck me up the ass, of the cactus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, consuming gaze is bad. That's like, if it's by two. That's double your level. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, no. It's, it, if it's by two, it's only one because it's the score is uh, the modifier changes every two. But Dax, it's your oh turn. Oh god. Okay. Tentacle attack. Okay. Because <laughs> I can't really do anything else. Yeah. You really like cursed oh. weapons. Fifteen plus nine. Twenty-four hits. That'll be two damage. Okay. It's worth it if all three hit, probably. 16 plus 9. 25 hits. Three damage. Okay. You got this. Dax has got this with a tentacle rod. 19. 19 hits. All three hit. <clears throat> okay, okay. What? Let me, let me pull this thing. I know what happens. It's all good. Uh, this is roll 3d6, right? Yeah, roll another d6. And uh, because he got hit by oh, all three, yeah. he needs to make a con save. On a fail, his speed is halved. He's not moving. Disadvantage on dexterity saves and can't use reactions for one minute. Moreover, on each of his turns, it, can't, it can either take an action or a bonus action, but not both. But can repeat the save at Four the end of his turns. Yeah. Four damage. So can I get the con save, please? Oh, yeah. That'd be really cool. <sighs> Uh, Go for a cigarette and a bar of chocolate. Twenty-four. That that succeeds. Yeah. But damn it. Anything else? Bonus actions? Anything? Uh, I can't do any of my bonus actions. Okay. Um. Wipes a tear away from the mean things her mom said. That's not her mom. I know Caleb said coin wasn't going to do it, but coin's going to do it. Coin's going to cast magic weapon on Dax. Because Dex has got to do something here. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. Um, that'll bring us to what I keep forgetting. <clears throat> uh, magic weapon is a bonus action. Oh, right, it is. Yes, it is. So he's going to make two attacks with pack tactics. Yeah, coin. Let's go. Natural 20. <clears throat> He's got a shield, so it's the one-handed damage. 19. Shield damage is officially below triple digits. Uh, and that hits. That's not good. We're not going to get this thing back here by the time. Damage. <laughs> like, we straight up are going <clears> to <throat> get this thing back here by the time we... All right. To take it down. Uh, Coin Estus Dax take eight lightning damage. Coin 
coins make it come on. Magic weapon's still up. Estus is going to two attacks with the Warhammer. Twenty seven. Natural twenty. Uh oh. Eight blood. Fuck him up, Estus. <clears throat> and he you might not want him without the sphere. Uh and then crit for fifteen bludgeoning. Uh Kenna and then Ven. So Kenna, it's your turn. You're in magical darkness. And I think you're muted. I am muted, thank you. Yeah, you and Ven are in magical darkness. Okay. Um this this ability does not say that the creature needs to see me to be affected. Cool. So I'm going to use Necrotic Shroud, and I need Shia Dan to make a Charisma saving throw. Uh, man, 25. Oh, wait. Actually, mm, never mind. Okay. All right. Uh, so nothing happens. Cool. Um, he is not afraid of me for the <clears> next <throat> round. Um, bonus action. Uh, last frame br flame breath, fire breath. Dexterity saving throw. Does that require sight? Um, I don't think so. It's just a cone in front of you. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, just uh, at a target within 30 feet of you. That's a natural one for a four. He's going to use a second legendary resistance on that. He's going to take legendary resistance? Yeah, he's going to use legendary resistance. He's looking pretty shit. Okay. He doesn't know. know if someone has a sphere, so he's like, oh, fuck. <clears throat> so. Um, all right, so that is 13, half to 7? Uh, 6. 6? Okay. Is there anything Drek can do to increase his intelligence? <laughs> no. The, the, DC to move, the DC to move that thing is 25. Oh, God. Same as the Sphere of Annihilation. Is it just oh. intelligence? Yeah, it's an arcana check to move it. Oh, arcana, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna duck back down and hopefully... Riff. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get full coverage with Ven if I can get to the stairs. Uh, yeah, you can. If okay. you're crawling, you can, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna crawl. I'm gonna oh. feel my way to the stairs. Yeah, okay. Ven, you, you, know, you feel like someone, like, nudge into you. Uh. Ven, is that you? You yeah, yes. <laughs> oh. uh, all right, that brings us to Ven then. And then Did you Druck hear that thing Druck was shouting? And then Druck yep. the deck. <clears throat> okay, uh, I am going to reach out and just just hug the pinky of my Bigby's hand. Okay, and he can't make an attack of opportunity against you because he can't see through the magical darkness. Yep. Also, That's forced a, movement a doesn't dumb, provoke attacks of opportunity. A dumb fucking. Dumb fucking legendary action I gave him to the yeah, magical darkness that he can't see through. Stupid. Yep, but also, <clears throat> force movement doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity, Correct. so I'm just gonna gra grab onto the Big B's hand, and then bonus action, the Big B's hand is gonna fly uh, 60 feet towards the tunnel. Alrighty. I will move you on top of it. It's not working. Well. There you go. 60 feet. I don't know where that'll take you, but. You'll figure uh, it out. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Basically, right to here, from the edge of the map. Okay. And then uh, I am then going to uh, try and just make it further faster. I am going to then uh, let go, grab the cape, and then fly using my movement, fly another 40 feet down the tunnel. Okay, so 100 feet total. Right? To, to the... Wait. Down the tunnel. Like 100, 100 feet total feet of movement. Total, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 100 feet total of movement, yes. Okay, so you as you're like going down the tunnel, and you'd get to a point where you can see Druk running on either the walls or the ceiling, doesn't really matter, mm -hmm. or the floor, and you can see the mm -hmm. earth and earth elemental behind him chasing him, looking very hostile. <clears throat> oh, dear. Alvin! All right, Druk. Druk, what's happening? 
Oh, the usual. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to shoot the uh, crimson sure. arc crossbow at this thing. The elemental? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Hopefully do some more damage to it so, y yeah. you know, Sven doesn't have uh, as rough a time. Uh, how long is the uh, elemental up after you lose concentration on it? Because it doesn't exist. In uh, it stays for the whole hour. Oh, okay. regardless. So of it's like so another ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. It was like it was like twenty minutes or so. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Twenty nine to hit. Twenty nine hits it. Um. No sneak attack. So. That's fourteen damage. Plus. Okay. Uh, 2d6. Do you want to do the charge to see if you can stun it? Lightning. Um, yes, actually. That's actually okay. a good point, yeah. I would like to. Um, so it arcs. But it's but it's a con save, I believe. Yep. Yeah, and this thing's just fucking nutty with those. Uh, 15 is the... 7 plus 5 fails. Right? Woo! Yeah, fails. So it's stunned. It just like... Until is paralyzed until the end of its oh, it's paralyzed. Next Sorry, turn. Uh, uh, never mind. It would be immune it, to that, so never mind. Okay, it's immune to paralyzed. Yeah. <clears throat> I, thought uh, was, I thought it was the stun condition. Uh, real quick, Justin, I forgot that uh, moving the big beast hand is only a bonus action. Oh, so what I've been able I, I would have been I would have spent I, I would have used my action to just dash another 40 feet if doable. Yeah. So 140 feet total. Yeah. So you're 10 feet away from the sphere. I just launch off the big dude's hand and fly down the hallway. Okay. Tedrock, anything else? Uh, movement, bonus action, uh, dash okay. to get you're back in the room. Back, yeah. back into the room. You'd be back where you, wherever you want. You'd be back basically where you would have left from if you want to, unless you want to go somewhere else. In that kind of area. Um, how's everybody looking? Well, I can't see. Not great. Uh, 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 I'm actually going to be <clears> heading <throat> instead of there. I want to head closer to where um, Dax is. Where so in case sounds the, good. Uh, okay. In case the, uh, the in case coin drops concentration okay. on that. Okay. Drux just going to hand her his frost okay. brand. Short yeah, time. Dex is at 36 and 98, coins at 37 and 99. All right. Flits. But, I mean, like, yeah, he might not succeed on concerts. Yeah. Uh, Flits. I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's going to put a blade ward into the pillar because it hasn't been healed in a hot minute. For, ugh. Three, six, ten. Exactly what we needed. Yay! Uh, that's his action. Bonus action. Flitz is going to stay up here. <clears throat> Lair action time. The sphere of darkness goes away. No! But I yeah. have full cover. That's right. And it's going to throw a piece of the ceiling. Uh, no, the entire moon's hit. the entire moon is his uh, lair. So he's gonna throw it at Ven. Oh, he doesn't need to be able to see me. Nope, the entire moon is his oh, lair. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy. Thirteen. No. Just whew, this piece of the uh, ceiling dislodges and comes sailing at you from behind. And you know what? Fucking slams into the earth elemental instead. I'll take it. Just. Poof. Wait, is it that close to me? Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it chased Jack Druck like eighty feet down the hallway. All right. Uh, thirty feet. It didn't get. Didn't catch up to me. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna hit the Earth Elementals. Unless you. Oh right. All right. It's close to you then. Okay. Close uh, enough. <clears throat> so fourteen, fifteen bludgeoning damage to the Earth Elemental. Just. <laughs> cool. That's gonna bring us to the Earth Elemental. Come in. Ven my is boy. flying through the air. Baby boy. So. The Earth Elemental cannot reach Ven. But it sees something hostile, so it's going to stay in here. Okay. Shit, Anne. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Doesn't that recharge his breath weapon thingy? 
<clears throat> On my end, it sounded like you said shit, Dan. Shit, Dan. <laughs> uh, multi attack, shadowy slam on Dax for shit the first Dan? one. That is a 14 to hit. Does hit it hit? Who? Does a 14 hit? I don't know if it hits? Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, no. Because I don't have my. Barbarians uh, don't, don't wear armor. Barbarians don't wear armor. Wear armor. But what about your unarmored defense? Yeah. Or is that only monks? Nine, ten. No, barbarians get that too. Yeah, and my con went down. Oh. Oh, right. 15. So it was 15. Uh, 21 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Fuck. And uh, 7 force damage. Okay. Was that the only the first one? I don't remember. Yeah. That okay. was the first one. Second one is a natural 20. Oh, okay. Fuck. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. We're good. It's fine. Everything's fine. Rage? I know. Uh, 32 bludgeoning damage. So, like, I'm going to reduce that by 1d12 plus okay. 2. Go for it. Um... So it was 32 bludgeoning damage. Minus, um, three damage. <laughs> okay, so you're still unconscious, I believe, right? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I only had eight hit points. We're so fucking boom. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Looks down at you and is going to also, for the third part of his... Ah, nah. But he would probably try to consume me, wouldn't he? Yeah, probably. That makes yeah. sense. Realist, uh, I, I understand. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. Uh, constitution saving throw. I don't think you automatically fail these when you're unconscious. So, Constitution save. I mean, that's a 24. That succeeds. Your con score is not reduced anymore. However, death saving throw, plus one. Kenna's mom's ghost hasn't really moved, so... No, I keep forgetting to have her move. Okay, we roll a flat 10. So, plus one. one cold, 11. Coin, so an 11, so that's one success. However, end of your turn. He's, well, he's not going to try to kill you. He's going to consume you, so he's going to use a legendary action to do consuming gaze. So, constitution saving throw. Seventeen, and do I get a bonus uh, from coin plus still? Yeah, plus so one. eighteen. That just succeeds. We're hanging at one. Uh, coin is going to action lay on hands, and it's going to do fuck all thirty-five. I think. Uh, not Are twenty-five. You sure? Twenty-five. Damn. Okay. Thank you, bestie. Because this is getting sketchy. So uh, you heal twenty-five hit points. Get it? Get it? <clears throat> uh, that's an action to do. Um, lay on hands. Magic weapon is still up. Um. Uh, yeah. That's all coins gonna do. I think. Uh, all right, and then the lightning on the floor. Uh, coin, Dax, and Estus for lightning damage. Magic weapon still up on your sword. Uh, Estus is just gonna hit twice. Nineteen and a, a twenty-two. At least he could hit with both his hands Nine. now. There you go. Nine, so 14. 23 bludgeoning damage. All right, Kenna, and then Ven, and then Druk. <clears throat> okay, question. To drink your own healing potion, is that a bonus action? No, all, all, drink, all potion okay. drinking is an action. Cool beans. Unless you are a thief rogue. Gotcha. Cool beans. Or um, a, yeah, I think, and then I think Arcane Tricksters can do stuff too, with that. Um, I'm going to peek out here, 15 feet. Can I see Dax? Uh, 
Yes. <clears throat> Healing word. Okay. Um. Counter that spell. is no. eight healing. He doesn't like have counter. Asshole. He doesn't have counter spell. <laughs> Only uh, that is, did, or someone did. That is eight health back to Dax. Nice. Um. I'm getting real low on hit points. Um. I'm gonna have my mom move to here so that all of my friends are within ten feet of her. Mm-hmm. Um, where? Sorry, where? Uh, here. In this little gap between um, sounds good. Yep. and coin. Um, Does she take damage? She can, but she's immune immune to necrotic damage because uh, she's a ghost. She's a she's but just it's, a non. It's she's lightning. She's it's just lightning damage though. Yeah, but she's a ghost. They're also she, resistant. Uh, they're resistant to lightning. Okay. Yeah. And she's non combative though. She's just kind of like a boom. Here, have advantage on death saves just in case. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she can't yeah. attack. Cool. Um. And then I still have my action. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? And then, yeah, Ven's um, on deck and then Druck right after. And Ven is 10 feet away from the sphere. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, Ven, right. Yeah. Ven. Yeah. Zombie. I can't cast spells when I'm wild shaped, or would it have to be a humanoid? Uh, I can cast spells. You have to be a humanoid to do that. I think a certain druid class can do it. I can't remember. Okay. I don't fucking remember anything right now. <clears throat> then I'm just going to um, action throw another produce flame into the crystal. Okay. It's fully healed because of uh, filth or whatever. Not Oh, did, uh, yeah, Flitz, uh, did Flitz, Flitz, Flitz repair it? Oh, yeah. Flitz already healed it. Never mind then. Um, I'm gonna throw a produce flame at your boy Shiadan. Go for then. it. Um, plus ten, fifteen. Misses. All right. Um, then I'm going to go back to my little cover spot. Okay. Ven Kihalis. you're diving over the Earth Elemental, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, move the move the last ten feet to get to the sphere. Yep. And then is it an action to try and move it? Yeah, an Arcana check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how far away is the Earth Elemental from me? Uh, Twenty feet. Okay, so if I could, so if it's five times the thing, then it's gonna be in my way. Okay, I'm gonna take my bonus action first. Okay. <clears throat> I'm uh, big busy hand is gonna move another sixty feet and then grapple the Earth Elemental. Hell yeah. So it needs to make either strength or dexterity. It's going to go yep. strength. It's <laughs> oh, eight. Three plus five. <clears throat> it cannot fail that. It has a plus eight strength modifier. So it got a 17. Okay. <clears throat> it just grapples onto the earth elemental. Mm -hmm. cool. And then was it, it wasn't, okay. Uh, how much, do you know vaguely how much movement the, or the Bigby's hand would have left? Moved, After you said it moved, to getting to there, you said it moved sixty feet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it moved. It has a sixty foot move speed. It moved to get to the Earth Elemental. Uh, like I don't know, twenty. <clears throat> okay. Um, how how tall is the tunnel it's in? Uh, like thirty feet tall enough for drop okay. to like, get onto the ceiling without any issue. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, then the Big B's hand is going to move half movement just straight up with the Earth Elemental and move it 10 feet in the air. All right. Just get it out of the way. Oh, man, an Earth Elemental is going to hate not being able to just dip into the ground. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If that was a water elemental, <laughs> it would start to, like... Anyways. Yep. Uh, uh, and then with my <clears throat> action, now that I've got the garage door lifted here, I'm going to start trying to push it. Arcana check. Oh, boy. Oh DC boy. 25. All right, got to get a 15 man. or higher. Oh, it says you can do this within 60 feet of it. Anyways, yeah. Oh, well, that would have been good to know. Okay. All right. Let's find out. All right. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this on the thing. 29. 29. Um, you can move it five times your intelligence modifier. So 30 feet. Mm -hmm. 30 feet back. That's okay. my turn. All right. It goes back. Oh, man. <clears throat> so in about, in about what? Five more take rounds, five rounds, we'll be able to actually do something. 
So we have to just survive five rounds while yeah. he's like, it's three. Oh. It's three. 150? Yeah. Oh. oh 120. Oh, I already moved 30. Right. Three rounds. Okay. Three rounds. Oh, 150 you guys got more. this. Druck. <clears throat> Four rounds, yeah. Legendary yeah. action, because okay. I forgot he still has those. Uh, and he's going to punch. He's going to punch. Fuck punch. you. He's going to punch Flitz. Flitz can take it. Our baby. Hasn't been, Blitz hasn't been taken much this time. Oh, fight. I might have spoke too soon. <laughs> oh no. Natural yeah, 20, you bitch. Natural twenty on Flitz. No, Flitz. <coughs> oh, Lex, I am so sorry. How dare you kill Flitz when Lex isn't here? I'm not gonna kill Flitz. Maybe. Uh, twenty-three bludgeoning damage to Flitz, but Flitz has armor of Agathis up. Is he close okay. enough, actually? Hell no. I think uh, Armor's Agnes has like a blast radius. Um, 23. The Armor Vegas has soaked up most of that. Uh, yeah. Five force. Um, and then this. Yeah, this is, that was his. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, now Druck's turn. Cool. Uh, did. When he attacked Flitz, did. That armor of Agathis do damage to him? Oh, right, it should have. Um, yeah, it did. Armor of Agathis, it would have done 15 cold damage. Okay. Shidan's looking real bad. You can see, like, gaps in his wisp form. Like, he's got <clears throat> single digits. So, oh. this probably won't work, but, um, because it's a really low saving... Uh, saving throw. But, um, yeah, we need to get him to not. Uh, yeah. It would be nice to have him roll at disadvantage for all these melee attacks he's doing on people. So I'm just going to use my action to cast web on him. Okay. I think he automatically does a save on that, though, right? Immediately. Dex yeah. Save. Eight. Restrained. Yep. All attacks with disadvantage, all attacks with advantage. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Unless he wants to use the legendary resistance. <laughs> oh, right. He's got one left. He's going to use legendary resistance. Yeah. <laughs> Next round, Druck. Well, he can't yeah. move. He's, the webs are still going to be there. He just, yeah, he's. That's true. So he's going to have to keep making the saves, yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Druck? <clears throat> uh, I'm going to. Knowing that that probably annoyed him. Uh, I'm going to move oh, yeah. to a location where he oh, right. cannot see me. Maybe people should be disengaging and getting out of his range. Yeah. Maybe. If we can. Yeah. Boom. Flitz. Ah. Because uh, that lightning damage is just eating away at HP. Uh, he's yeah. going to cast fly on himself. Oh. Mm. And Flitz is... This thing is not... The, the sigil is going to last, so he's just going to... Oh, shit. Fly away! <laughs> Into this corner. That will be an attack of opportunity. Oh, no, he already made an attack of opportunity. Ha 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 ha! So Flitz flies away. <laughs> That'll bring us back to the lair action. Who would I want to play with the lair action with, real quick? Probably the tiefling wiener that's in the corridor. <clears throat> nope! I already did that one. No, I did. No, I did that one last round. Okay, cool. Ven, a tendril comes out of one of the walls, resembling your father, and just says, "I don't fucking know. You smell like shit," <laughs> and breathes caustic blood on you. I need a Constitution saving throw. <clears throat> Good question. Did I touch the sphere? Uh, and you kind of controlled it with your mind and moved it thirty feet, so no. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't be. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. I didn't touch it when I got to it. No. Okay. Plus, you didn't know about that, right? So. Only Druck That's knows. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> right. You probably would have seen Druck look pretty darn good when he. Eight. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, 13 acid damage. Ouch. Uh, and if you're wearing any. You're not wearing armor, you're a wizard, so. Mm hmm. All right. Earth Elemental. Uh, it's grappled, you said, right? Mm-hmm. 
It's gonna try to break out of the grapple. <laughs> Uh, 14 plus 5. 19. 50 50 shot. It got a 21. So it's still stuck in the Bigby's hand. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Bigby's hand is plus 8. Shia Dan! Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Let's see. Multi attack, because I mean that's all you can really do. Oh no, uh, I think Webb's at the start of his turn. So, uh, let me double check. I believe it is at the start of his turn, but I'm gonna check the spell real quick. Um, each creature that starts its yep. turn in the webs must make a dexterity uh, saving throw. Eleven. No more legendary resistances. It's restrained. Like, what the fuck? And then all yeah. attacks are gonna be at disadvantage. Yep. So shadowy slam on Dax with disadvantage for the first one. Is Dax prone? Yes. That'll be a straight roll, actually. Uh, th 12 plus 11 to hit. That hits. The plus 11? Yeah. The coin's got plus 11 to hit. That's true. <laughs> He's the only dead. one. <laughs> uh, 18 bludgeoning oh, wait, damage. Wait, you guys mm -hmm. Four force damage. Mm-hmm. And then the second attack down on you if you're still conscious. I'm still conscious, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bitches. 15 to hit. That hits. 13 bludgeoning damage. I'm unconscious. All right, and then consuming gaze, a so constitution saving throw. Plus one. Come on, mom. Uh, 21. You're fine. These con saves for Dax are clutch as fuck. I fun. have a plus seven. Now I have a plus All six. All right. Seven. Oh, fuck. Almost recharged that breath weapon he does. Uh, Dax, a death saving throw with advantage because of uh, Kenna's mom. Oh, yeah. Okay, with advantage. With advantage, plus one. That, that's a 19. One success. Coin is... Oh, legendary action. He's going to do a... He's going to try to consume you again, so con save. Slurp me up, daddy. Oh. I was joking! I was joking! Oh, that, that's a 12. That's a plus one from Coin. Uh, I rolled max. Your con score is reduced by four. <clears throat> Con score. Yeah, your constitution score is reduced by four. Owie. <laughs> uh, coin C some stuff. <sighs> Can't really afford much of this. Five lay on hands into you. So you'll be at five hit points of whatever your total, and yeah, five hit points. Everything's your tentacles fine. are gone too because you're not raging. Just as a oh, I know that. I know that. Okay. Estes is just like this. Is f oh no, lightning. The lightning surge thing happens. <laughs> uh, two lightning damage to Dax, Coin, and Estes. Coin needs to make a check on magic weapon. Eight plus nine. Yep, magic weapon's still up. <clears throat> Uh, Estus, or at the end of Coin's turn, he's going to do another legendary action and go for a slam attack on Coin this time. Yeah, that hits. That's 30 to hit. Six plus six. 12 bludgeoning damage to Coin. Plus. One force damage. Magic weapon's still up. Uh, Estes is going to make two attacks. Natural 20. Come on, Estes, baby. Fuck him up. You need Ven here. <laughs> um, 16 damage. Shiadan is reduced to zero, but Shiadan persists until something else happens. 
So he can just, he'll just start taking damage now and not go down until. Yep. Kenna. <clears throat> um. Okay. I'm where I've been so many tabs I don't need to be in. Um. I'm gonna pop out. Oh, hold um, on a second. Okay. Ven, isn't your intelligence twenty two right now? Mm hmm. Uh, so yeah, modifier is plus six, so I'm moving thirty, moving at thirty feet. Right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm gonna cast um, Wither and Bloom again. Okay. Um, down here, so that all three of them can get the uh, the healing from their hit dice, right? Yes. Um, what? they can roll two two hit dice plus six. Okay. 16. One more throw. Twenty-two to Estes. Oh, Sweet. Yeah. Coin. I think coin is a. Yeah, that'll be. Eight, nine, ten. Sixteen to coin. All right. <clears throat> Dax getting beefy again. Getting those hit points. Chef's kiss, baby. Hi. Nice. Um, and I'm gonna just shout, get out of there! Um, and I'm gonna go back to my full cover spot. Okay. Then Kihalis, I forgot you have a crystal on you. Mm -hmm. So the movement that you can do on the sphere is doubled. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, was I able to move at 60 feet last round? Yeah, it would have been 60 last round. Okay. Uh, all right. So then I'm going to movement with the cape, catch up to it. Okay. And then try to push it 60 more feet. Okay, Arcana check. All right, come on, come on. 30, natural 20. Natural 20, <laughs> okay. Because it's a natural 20, it gets doubled again. Okay. <laughs> It's so, in it's in the room. So it's a hundred. So you all see the golden sphere come into the room. <laughs> okay, uh, one second while I add it to the map. Uh, Loki, I'm a little bit terrified now. I'm just on my back, and it's just like we're gonna die. Gonna, it's fine. Gonna, uh, anything else, Ben? Uh, okay, so I moved it. I moved sixty feet, so I'm mm -hmm. like ninety feet from the from the room still. So yeah. next turn I can get into the room. Yeah. Um, is the ceiling in the room where the sphere was higher? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. The hand is just gonna take the elemental and just move it into the room and as high up as it can go. Okay, cool. It's about like a fifty foot high room. Okay, so it can move it thirty feet up. So it's got it's got the earth elemental forty feet in the air. <laughs> okay. Uh, Druk. You can see he's, like, dying, but as you saw in the paintings, the sphere is needed, and you see the sphere come <sighs> sailing into the room. <clears throat> cool. I'm going to fix something to my crossbow. Okay. And hold an action. What are you fixing to it? I don't you, know. What an idea. An yeah, idea well, that he had yeah, well, before. What? Uh... This guy likes to consume things. Yeah. Well, it's gonna put the Grim Gusher on this. Air, I don't fucking remember what the Grim Gusher is, but okay. I really don't remember. I call it the Grim Gusher because it was that, that, that quote unquote cyanide pill in that guy's mouth. That oh, yes. Right, right, out. right, right, right. Okay. 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 And you said, and you said that it was like instant death for like yeah it's poison us yeah. at the time yeah, yeah, yeah. so i was like i'm hanging on to this <laughs> okay and druck is and druck has had this in his pocket like i don't want to i don't want to ruin your fun because that's that's really cool because of, you can tell looking at this guy he's all shadow he's immune to poison and that grim gusher does poison damage oh. whatever <clears throat> i don't want you to i don't want you to waste it okay yeah damn it yeah. I was. I had. I had a. I had a fucking one lighter all prepped and everything. Aww. Save it for. Save it for someone who. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, real quick, Justin, <laughs> I forgot the the Big B's hand while it's if it can while it's continuing to grapple someone. Uh, it, it, does, it do damage? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to roll for that. So the Earth Elemental takes 14 points of bludgeoning damage. And from the round, just and, and from the round before. Uh no, it's it's uh if it's, if it's already grappling, then it takes yeah. the damage. It, it's been grappled for two rounds, so. No, I grappled it last round. Oh. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Druk, are, are you still doing that or? <clears throat> No, I, I mean, I, I guess I'll just hold a... Uh, hold, uh, uh, you gotta save uh, that for here. Dax if Dax goes rogue again. Yeah, for sure. I'll just say, consume this. Did you just say if or when? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's still got the web on it. Um, I'm going to hold an action with my crossbow bolt to fire on it when it appears to be vulnerable. Okay. Uh, I'll be to Flitz, who's just going to throw two Eldritch Blasts at it, but again, he's at zero. He just can't be killed yet. Uh, lair action. A floating piece of debris is going to get launched at a uh, drug. <laughs> okay, makes sense. The stairs you're standing on are going to mm -hmm. lift up, like mm -hmm. come get removed from the catwalk and just slam down on top of you. What? What? <laughs> Fuck off. Nine to hit. Okay, who? Just does not hit. Yeah, just goes wide. Uh, Earth Elemental. I don't fucking know. I was going to punch Bigby's hand twice. For it. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, what is Bigby's hand? Bigby hand. I don't know if you can hurt Bigby's hand, can you? Yeah, you can. It has my. It has AC twenty though. So misses. Second and, uh, attack. My maximum hit points for hit points. And it misses both. Okay. Is that my unaltered maximum hit points or my current maximum? I, when I cast the spell. I think it's your current maximum. Okay, then it has twenty three <clears throat> hit points. Okay. Oh no. Shia Dan, <laughs> just gonna do what he's doing. Shadow slams. Dax, who is still prone. Disadvantage. But a straight roll okay. because Dax is prone. Fucking twenty-two to hit. Mm-hmm, bestie. He wants Dax. Uh, twenty-four bludgeoning damage. Okay, bestie, we're still up. Wow. Okay, second one. Oh wait, I forgot to roll force damage on that. Two force damage. We're still up. Eighteen to hit. Dax. Fucking get out of there. I am laying on my <clears throat> fucking back. Yeah, Dax getting keeps getting brought jumpy. back and knocked unconscious. Okay. Uh, 18 to hit. Yeah, that is. My AC is currently now 12. <laughs> <laughs> so it's impossible for this thing not to. Uh, 20. Oh, this rolls in that one. 22 bludgeoning damage. So, like, I just got a knocked unconscious. For the third fucking time. And consuming gaze because he <laughs> wants your soul. Druck, Druck, yeah. Druck knows. Druck sees a sphere come into the room and he knows what happens when you touch it. Yeah, Druck knows what happens. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Constant. Yeah. 23. Well, Druck has to tell people that. 23. All right. And then. Seeds. Death saving throw with advantage. Throw. Plus one. Nineteen. With advantage, nineteen. Okay, one success. <sighs> Coins last lay on hands. Last five lay on hands into you. <clears throat> <laughs> Coins. Why won't you stay up? <laughs> uh. You could just put one in there, right? <laughs> actually, before Coin does that, <laughs> don't heal yet. I'm not. Uh, legendary action to do consume on you. So, so con save. Come on, come on. Seventeen. If I have a plus one coin, fuck you. Fuck. Your con score is reduced by three. No. So if ah. not, so if your con is reduced to zero, then you're consumed. Well, if your and con's you fucking reduced die. to zero, and you also die. if your con is reduced yeah. to one, your health score is probably really fucking low. <laughs> also, uh, 
you die, and you can't fix that because you can't cast Greater Restoration on a corpse. Yeah. So only to fix that is Wish. Anyways, that's Coin's turn. Uh, Estus is just like, this is bad. You do get five hit points from Lay on Hands from a coin. Okay. Uh, Estus I is just swinging conscious. the hammer. He's like, why is this asshole not dying? <clears throat> Dax just giving moral support at this point. Uh, Kenna Van Druck. So Kenna, you're you're up next. Um, can can I walk? Like, is there a way that I could get to the here just by walking? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm gonna get to here. Mm -hmm. Wild, uh, wild shape into a giant owl. Okay. Using my last wild shape. Um, where is it? Just want to check it off. Um, and I'm going to swoop down and pick up Dax and carry her out of there. Okay. Because Dax needs to get out of there. No. <laughs> so you, exactly. you pick up Dax and you just swoop. Yeah. Where, okay, uh, where are you going? <clears throat> uh, I'm going over to this corner. And you have flyby, right? Yes. So okay, cool. no. <clears throat> so just Dax. No attack is just... opportunity. Well, Dax is, a, Dax is conscious. But Dax yeah. Taken out, yeah, but I feel <clears throat> like shit. Yeah. yeah, I'm pulling Dax away from there because Dax has been unconscious like three or four times. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, you're done, bitch. You're right. done. What else? You're done. Anything else? <laughs> um, bonus action, drop wild shape. While you're no, here, I'm gonna keep it because I. No, I'm gonna. Keep That's gonna make me go unconscious <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna. Keep you're done, bitch. Okay. Body slam so into you're, the ground. So you're, keep, you're keeping it up then. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, I, forgot I need the extra hit points. He's not recharging his breath weapon, though, which is sad. Van! Yes, but since we're all clumped up. <laughs> Van and then Druk. I'm trying to think if I can get to the sphere this turn. Because I'm, I think, 90 feet away from it. Yeah. And. Big B's oh, hand. Get... <laughs> no, Big B's hand is busy holding on to that thing way too far behind me. Come back. Yeah. Because uh, he can only move 60 feet. Right. Uh, yeah, I think I just got to move and move and dash. Okay. So 60 and I'll get feet. to... Well, no, for... It was 80 for for, for me. Oh, right, because you're so flying, right? 10 feet away. Yeah. So... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get to 10 feet away, so I'm, like, there. Yeah. You all see Ven return with the sphere? Oh, wait. Okay. This might bring back this will this will free the earth elemental, but and it'll use up my my last high level spell slot. Okay. But if I use it, but, okay. Yeah. Uh this will give me fifty, it'll move me a hundred. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cast instead of using the cloak to move, mm -hmm. bonus action, a shardalon stride. Yeah. Which increases my movement speed by twenty. So I have yep. a fifty foot movement speed, I move nice. and dash. So yeah, and that gives the me an extra hand goes feet. away. Yep. The earth, Sorry. the earth elemental drops fifty feet. Yep. <laughs> well, time to add that to Ven's kill tracker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or should we add Bigby's hand to the kill count? Well, no, because it's Ven's spell. Oh. So Ven comes rocketing into the room with flames shooting out of his feet like a speed skater. Nice. Nice. And I get to the sphere. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my hands on it when I get there, trying because I'm prepping to use it. Okay, you heal seventy hit points, and your okay uh, maximum HP is fixed. Which happens first? Maximum HP is fixed, then you're healed. Okay. Because <clears throat> then, because otherwise, I'd be at ten hit points. So then, then everybody uh, in the room. So everybody in the room sees what happens when you touch the sphere. If you touch this thing, it makes you feel great. <laughs> yep. All right, and then that's my turn. I'm I'm here. All right, Druk. Kind of drop her. And uh, Druk and Druk is gonna run uh, underneath, uh, grab her, and use his bonus action uh, dash as well, since it it only takes forty feet of movement to get there, and since he'll be carrying her for part of that, if you have it, and he's dashing. He'll he can carry her to the orb and get her to touch yeah. it. Can I can do that on can I can drop Dax on Kenna's turn? Um my turn. If that's the case then I can just carry her over. 
and drop her off right Just next drop to the me sphere. on the sphere. Well, I can take you to the ground, <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> I can fly. As long as I, I touch can, like, it. Softly land. Alright. Uh. Uh, it looks right, like cool. Shidan is now just going to purely focus on Ven, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? Druk is actually going to walk up to it. Walk up the, I guess, non-existent stairs. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll walk up maybe that crystal or something. I forgot to do lightning damage this round. Yeah, he'll walk up the crystal and stand like okay. right there. I forgot to do the lightning damage this round, so and Dax, before you were picked up, he took three lightning damage. So did Essence and so did Coin. And uh <clears throat> Druck will say Why after all of all of this did the forest bloom and the wildlife return? Uh, and I mean, like I'm attacking. Um, okay. Yeah. Just because uh, that is indeed a question that he would like yeah. to answer. And his response was just, "Who cares?" Mm. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Uh. Yeah. I guess I'll just hold a hold a, an attack then. Hold okay. another attack. Flitz is just staying where Flitz is. Um, Who cares? I mean, yeah. obviously, I do. I asked. Yeah, but Asshole. He doesn't <laughs> care, so why would he answer? <clears throat> um, oh. All right. Lair action. Or maybe he doesn't know. Um, a tendril resembling Druk's sister pops up beside Druk and does the stuff, so con save Druk. 14. Fails. Uh, 18 acid damage. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And armor bonus reduced by another one. Okay. That my armor's dead. Okay. So the armor is destroyed. Yeah. All right. Shia Dan. Damn, I just got that. Shia Dan is looking right at Ven. We'll get you new armor. Shia Dan's going to use consuming gaze on Ven. Ven, I need a con save. <clears throat> A question: Did my con go back up uh, when I touched the sphere? Your, yes, it would have, that would have too. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, con save. Coin is nowhere near me. Five. Your, con your, no! con your constitution score is lowered by three. Okay. All right. That's that's we we can. Well, we I, mean, can... I guess you can touch the sphere. Dax. All right. You are in the talons of this giant owl. In the talons of the owl. The owl. Ah, uh, can I just hold an action to touch the sphere once? Uh, yeah. Kind of yeets me on it. Well, it's not really an action to touch it. It's just any matter that passes through it gets. Cause it's not physical. Okay. Cool beans. Dash just waiting to get the life sucked back into them. Okay. That's your turn, then? They just yell, Go, Van! So that's your turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, legendary action consuming gaze on you. Constitution saving throw. You do not have a plus one on this. Uh. Fourteen. Your con score is reduced by three. <laughs> Besties, we're getting a... Uh, we're, we're getting a little bit, uh... Hey... I'm gonna get you there, just trust me. We're, we're getting a little uh, sketch. Coin and Estus take eight lightning damage, so does Ghost Mom. 
eight. Ghost mom! Oh shit, I have not been tracking her hit points. I'll say she's down 20. Okay. S so, is, <clears throat> just swings twice, um, nothing. With the con with score advantage? getting lowered. I mean, it says oh, right, zero hit duh. points. Yeah. Right, duh, yeah. With the con score getting lowered, that like lowers my max HP, so am I back to saving throws? No, you'd still be at two hit points. Okay, just want a clarification. Yeah. Uh, Kenna Vendrock. Cool. Um, I'm going to fly over here, 60 feet, uh, okay. put Dax down so that she can touch the thing, like l set her down so that him. her hand brushes it as she goes down. So Dax, your hit point stuff is all fixed, and you're healed by 70 hit points, so you'd be at 72 hit points. So your con score goes oh, back to your con score yeah. your con score goes back to normal and your max HP goes back to normal and you'd be at seventy two hit points. Um, yeah. Bonus action, uh, I'm gonna er, I'm gonna land. Bonus action, drop wild shape, touch okay. the sphere. Okay. So same thing happens to you. Seventy hit points. All your like hit point stuff is fixed, and then you heal seventy. Okay. And. <clears throat> Uh, you're no longer at five of five on the crystal. Oh shit! Because it's greater restoration that this thing does. So. Okay, and it but can only do it five little, times. Differently. Well, it's once you get to five minor symptoms, you start doing the big symptoms. Yeah, you're you're right. not your stacks aren't you're not stacked crystal. up anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can sleep without exploding, you yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, heal, uh, back up to max, um, and I'm going to cast guidance on Ven for my action. Okay. Nice. Ven. Um, and I'm going to stand in front of him okay. with the spear. Ven. Mm hmm. Your turn. Okay. Uh, so, what did the what did the mural detect with the sphere? Uh, that whatever Catatoon was using, it was using it to threaten Shia Dan. That's the extent of what you got from it. So, the, the sphere appears. So, okay. It it's a sphere of annihilation. Yeah, it's a sphere of annihilation, but this one's all like radiant and golden and light. You don't know? Right, but he okay, but he's identify would help you out. It was just if he would have cast identify on it, he would have been solid. Oh boy, the identify takes a full minute yep. to cast. Yeah, and if you do it as a ritual, no, no, it ten takes, minutes if it's a ritual. Yeah. Oh, ten, it takes shit. eleven minutes That's if it's a ritual. Right. It takes ten God, minutes you're base. Tight. You can Damn. whatever you want to yep. try. Okay, um, we don't ha we can't survive ten rounds. <laughs> yeah, it takes yeah, it takes a, a minute. Well, we okay. already know that radiant damage doesn't do very much to him. But this is the sphere. So here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking: is it's a sphere of annihilation. Those just work by running into things. I've got two options I can think of: either casting a, either like put, putting spell slots through it, targeted at him, or just running it into him. Those are the two that I can think of. He's gonna be focusing on you, so. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um. So those are the two things I can think of. And the sigil is damaged. Some more. Okay. If I'm wrong about running it into him, he heals 70 hit points, and we're in trouble. No, so, I'll be taking it right away. Yeah, honestly, right. we, can, we can deal with 70 hit points. All right, you sure? Yeah, with you guys, you guys can deal with 70 hit points. All right, then yeah. it's, it seems like the most likely option to me, so I'm going to try and push it at him. Arcana check. DC All 25. right, we'll see if the, Yep, yep, yep. Plus a D4. It's not going to matter. I got a 15. It doesn't move. Yep. Well, it la you still have that thing for a minute if you don't use it. Okay, then I'm going to hang on to it for the next one. But yeah, okay, that's right. another round. Druk. Arcana check. <laughs> I'm just going to move to this other side. Okay, cool. Um... I took damage. I think I need to do a con save for that web. Oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> we'll say DC 10. All right, 19. So it's web is still up. All right. Uh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what, uh, what we can do here. Um, Oh, yeah, there's nothing I really can do, right? Like, there's just nothing I can do. Um, I will try. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. yeah, the DC's 25. 
Uh, is it like the Spirit of Annihilation, where if you fail, it goes towards you instead? Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, on a failure, the Spirit remains stationary. Oh. <laughs> I was just you. like, I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's different when it's contested. You have to, if it's contested, you have to do a contest with the other person controlling it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. um interesting. Right. So I mean, I, I uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm looking. I can't. She had to have to control it. <sighs> I mean, unless, no, no, it's just no, nah, nothing. Um, I'll go ahead and toss my other crossbow to Dax. Okay. <clears throat> and that's what I'll do. Okay. I'll just toss my crossbow to Dax. Uh, Flitz is going to attempt to take control of the sphere of Nile. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. No. Uh, he's just going to chill. Another lair action. A piece of the rock ceiling is going to detach and fly towards Ven. 16 to hit. Um, shield. Okay. This like, pe this, like, 30 foot diameter piece of rock slams into you, but your shield just crumbles it into dust. Cool. Shia Dan. Is focusing on Ven. So mm -hmm. is going to attempt to consume your constitution score again. So con save. Alright. Dirty twenty. Nice. It was a nineteen plus one. Does not does not recharge his breath weapon thing. Core oh, Dax. Geez. Um 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 Crossbow, pew pew. Dax is like, what the fuck is this? No damage. This? Just. Yeah. Dax is like, ooh, yeah. I've never shot one of these. Yet. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, well, let it be said that I also there that there was a thing of bolts next to it as well, so that she could actually fire <laughs> some bolts at it. Uh, uh, anything? Dax is just trying to be a human shield for Ven at this point, basically. Okay. So if I can provide cover for him, I would be. Sure. Okay. The sphere is anyone can pass through the sphere. So, if you do, you want to pass through it. You'd be so you're being a human. You'd be standing at like, basically you'd be standing on top of the sphere then, right? It can pass through I, people. I just want to make sure Ven is taking the least amount of damage as possible. So would you be standing in front of Ven directly in front of Ven? Yes, if cool. he's okay with that. Mm-hmm. You heal, yeah, you heal yeah, another okay. 70 hit points as you step into it. Okay, cool beans. <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Yeah. Coin. Hmm. Hmm. Gonna drink the potion? No. <laughs> Just attacking. Out of anger. Uh, legendary action. Oh, you have to live. <clears throat> Gonna go with a melee attack on 5, 10. Ah, oh, Druk is just outside of reach. That's poopy. Uh, he's gonna go for an attack on Estus. All attacks on Estus. <gasps> no, my baby! Oh, wait, I gave on, you my on, hand! Hold on. There's one attack. That's a legendary action. That hits. <clears throat> Fourteen damage to Estus. All right, it'll be Kenna Vendruck. Uh, who's looking worse, Coin or Estus? Coin's looking real bad. Okay. Um, healing word on Coin. Mm-hmm. Um, spells. Uh, healing word. Uh, Coin gets uh, nine hit points back. All right. Um. Would I be able to use the help action and help Ven? Uh, are you proficient in Arcana? I'm not. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> I think I think Ben is the only person in our party proficient in Arcana. Yeah. Which. Uh, and Flitz. <laughs> no. And oh, Flitz. really? No. Warlock Sorcerer. Yeah. So okay. 
Yeah. Can, can do the help action. That would be great. Okay. Um, you know yeah, what? I'm gonna help I forgot that he could do Flitz. that. I forgot about the help action. Flitz would have flew over to you and give you the help action. Cool. Because <laughs> I didn't have him do anything this turn, so. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to peel off through here if I can. That's less than 30 feet, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna throw another produce. Yeah, just get some. Could I throw a produce flame at one of the crystals and have it absorb? Uh, you okay, have to has to be touched. Yeah. Great. Um, then I'm gonna throw a produce All flame right. at I, at your I boy. Keep, I keep forgetting to damage the sigil. The sigil's looking pretty shit too, though. Yeah. I just can't get there and do anything. This don't, you don't need to roll for it. Like I said, he's at zero hit points right now. It just it's oh, that's on right. Something. Um. Oh, then in that case, I'm gonna dash, um, and okay. get up to the catwalk. Okay. Ven. You got the sphere. You have you have, uh, Fleetus Flitz uh, helping you. <laughs> Fleetus. Um, all right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and just—he's like, ah, uh, push it. And you've got Arcana, guidance. Arcana check advantage with guidance. Shit. Father, son, Kamehameha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, the first one is a twenty-eight. Cool. So, it hits Shia Dan. Mm-hmm. And he's fine. No. Um, <clears throat> he looks a lot better. How does every member? As he happens, you see him like the stasis random breaks and he becomes physical form, not uh, shadow. How does the entire group want to do this against Shia Dan? We're going to go with Ven first. Okay. So Ven Oh, wait, Ven I, I forgot. Because uh, this does deal damage if it hits an evil aligned creature. Roll 10 oh. d 10. Oh. One, two, three. Okay, I've got three of them, so. That is 17, uh, 34, 40, um, 48, 54, 55, 59 points of damage. Okay, uh, so I'm going to ask each of you, how do you want to do this? Ven, how do you want to do this? All right, uh, Ven. So Ven and Flitz are just like standing there over the sphere, yeah, side by the same side. As yours, yeah. Yeah, we're just we're just standing there, hands behind. It's like it's like the the Goku and Gohan yeah. father son kind of okay. <laughs> so, uh, so just just and then what uh, what's gonna happen is Ven's gonna like realize he has it, like re like it's gonna the feeling's gonna click, like he's about to push it. Look right at Shiadan. I'm gonna look him right in the eyes, and I'm gonna say, "I want you to know that I never even technically graduated the academy." <laughs> <laughs> nice. And just. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go with Druk next. Druk, how are you contributing to this group? How do you want to do it? He becomes physical form, and you can see he's terrified at the thought of being physical form, so have at it. Does it look like there's, like, a being of, like, muscles yeah, and like bone he's and stuff like now. that? Yeah. You know what it is to consume... And that's what he I did. He's consuming the, he's consuming the sphere, and it's making him mortal. Uh, I wonder how you would enjoy being consumed. <laughs> and Dr consume this. <laughs> and Druk is, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna get the frostbrand short sword um, and depending on what everybody else is doing he's gonna start uh, doing certain things okay uh, Kenna because he is now mortal could I guess that his necrotic resist uh, immunity has gone away yeah Cool. I'm going to start casting Toll the Dead, and while I do it, I'm going to say, Do you know for who the bell tolls? It tolls for thee, and I cast uh, uh, Toll the Dead. Nice. Dax. Great line for a cantrip. <laughs> Dax, <clears throat> rubbing her hand where her dad made the ring out of the moon dust mm -hmm. on her birth, 
she's just like rubbing it and she starts running over like towards him and is just like this is for my parents and just straight uppercut to the jaw right where that ring would have sat all those years it just boom to the stars like with anger you leap 50 feet into the air and just just (laughs) fucking like boom Um, superman uh, coins just slashing away madly at the trash dragon comment in the name of Bahamut (laughs) I kid you Drucle Drucle take that uh, okay. Um can we rewind a bit here? Yeah. Hold on. Drucle take out that crossbow that he shot at the moon before and be like, This is your chance to prove to me that you indeed could do it. <laughs> and then we'll fire out him. <laughs> With the forbidden gusher? No. Oh, okay. No, he's talking about that one time where he was. Oh, the crossbow that killed rooftop, us all. That rooftop. Oh. He's sitting on that rooftop, and, or not that rooftop, but that treetop, and fired at the moon, but it couldn't make oh, it. Oh right, yeah. Okay, cool. And so he, he's just looking. He's just looking at this crossbow and goes, "This is your second chance." Alrighty, <laughs> cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> as you all contribute to this, the prince is just hitting with the hammer. Um, as Shadian hits, falls to his knees, and all this <clears throat> combined, all of your combined attacks, um, hit. You feel a sudden shift as the moon's descent ends, and watch as Shadian begins laughing before turning to nothingness. And as he before he dies, he says, "The archway will close. You will never leave." But then, you watch as brilliant radiant light bursts forth from his chest from where the sphere was and with one final scream he explodes into nothingness and the weave begins soaring towards one of you who wishes to take it into themselves okay you feel a surge of incredible power course through your body event and get a sense the longer you hold on to this you'll follow the same fate as the headmaster um mm. there's a loud crack of arcane energy from these crystals that were containing Shiadan. And the rune begins rapidly turning to dust. Another crack of arcane. Oh, oh. well, I'm just gonna oh, keep going. No. Um, unfortunately, because it's holy fuck. Uh, another crack of arcane uh, energy courses through this area, and the disintegration is only a mere feet away from all of you. Before another flash of radiant light bursts forth, and your a barrier of radiant energy is erected around every single one of you protecting you from the total damage as everything around you turns to dust. And suddenly you're floating in void space as everything is just dust swirling around you. And as you're concealed by this barrier of radiant light, you make out thousands of radiant spirits floating around the exterior of it as if they're the ones keeping you safe. These radiant spirits look like the people that were roaming the surface of the moon. Suddenly, you feel this barrier begin to jettison towards the earth at lightning fast speed. And as you fly towards the earth, you can see the moon is reforming, no longer trapped in the loop of endless destruction and renewal. And it always looks broken apart in the sky, but this time it's becoming completely intact. Uh, You also see something else as you're soaring towards the earth. You see to the far east on the world, just past the continent of Silgar, you can see numerous land masses begin to magically appear in the sky as that impenetrable mist wall vanishes. The barrier that you're inside plummets into the Almor Fen and crashes hard into the swampy terrain of the region. As the barrier crashes, you're still standing and watch as it fizzles out. And as it fizzles out, you can see the spirits of radiant energy coalesce briefly. And you watch as the golden spirit-like visage of a bugbear race towards Druk and hug Druk, which you recognize as Druk's sister. And you also watch... It sucks that Brittany's not here... Uh, a spirit-like visage of a Goliath kissing Dax on the forehead before the pair of them disappear along with the other spirits. You're now standing alone in the Almor Fen, and then you have mere seconds to do what you need to do. I'm just going to, like, collapse to my knees, slam my hands into the ground, and just will all of the magic in the world okay. into the earth. You can feel the crystal you have on your person taking the most of this... Mm-hmm. damage and it's starting to crack and fray in places 
As you place your hand upon the ground, you feel a surge of power expelled from you into the world, and you fall unconscious but stable. You watch as greenery begins to return to the Almor Fen, and you can hear the chirping of birds returning to this region. The rest of you watch as the nearby entrance to Cathatuin, the city below, not the city below, but the city down there, vanishes as if it were never there. There's a brilliant flash of light in the sky reminiscent of each school of magic as a soothing rain begins to fall from the sky. And because that was a lot of bullshit, and I didn't realize how bullshit it was going to be, how long it was going to be, I'm nice. Level 10. Ooh! <clears throat> oh, wow. We're going to do that off stream. So, good night, everybody. Right. Holy